Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast. After hours edition, we got some special guests in the house. The fucking roommates are here. Yeah. 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 Let's get into it, guys. Yo, first and foremost, like the fucking video, man. You guys are ninja watchers. Facts, man. Yo, son, I'm going to watch the video, and I'm going to, like, comment, maybe even subscribe, but I ain't going to like the video. You know like what? Like the video, bro. Stop to the channel. Oh, so the kid, niggas. Yeah, come on, man. Stop being ninja watchers. Facts. Anyway, with that said, patreon.com slash first fit. And we got some special guests in the house. We got yep. the roommates, man. Yep. Yo. Shout out to Y'all some funny yeah, boys. Don't y'all that right now, man. <laughs> Yo, welcome, 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 guys. How's the night treat you guys? Now, that's cool, man. We've just been here for a couple of hours, so we haven't really indulged in the Miami experience. And like I said, I'm technically in Hollywood, so I I guess I, I don't know if you guys are segregated that way. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so now, we're know, familiar with yeah. Hollywood. As soon as you said that, I was like, what are you doing in Hollywood? It's bro? in the middle, bro. <laughs> nowhere. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Uh, yeah, guys, they're tired, bro. They've had a long day. Like, they yeah. walked in and they saw me assembling a chair. They're like, what are these niggas doing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Ain't that serious? Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, we got a packed house uh, yep. right now, and uh, we're happy to have you guys here, bro. Seriously, man, we, we, we appreciate it. We appreciate yeah, we'll watch you guys' channel for a yeah, minute, and uh, yeah. we're happy to you know be able to share host. the podcast. We with get, you guys, we got a host. Yeah. yeah. Now, real quick, Matt, I want to shout out you guys real quick, man. <laughs> yeah. Because what I respect the most is persistence, man. Yeah. I know, man. My man Myron's been asking me. I know you've been <laughs> asking me, man. But I really respect the grind and respect the hustle, man. And and that's what makes you be successful in life. So I know it's been challenging getting into the song. We here now, but I just want you to know, man. I respect the persistence. Thank heavily, you, man. man. Thank I you, brother. Appreciate that, bro. That, that's a, that's a, that means a lot coming from you guys, bro. You guys <laughs> yeah, been facts. in the game for a minute. Facts. You yep. just got in October, so it's yeah. like you know so doing our thing. Yeah. Happy to have you guys here. But appreciate without it. further ado, we have some lovely ladies in the house. Yes. Let's uh have the ladies introduce themselves uh from Start from from the right to the left. I'm Sophia. Wait, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta say <laughs> your name, what you age, do, where you're from, and the age. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm 23 from Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm a full time student. There you go. Awesome. Welcome okay, back. Okay. I'm 22. I'm Sarah. I'm from Spain. And what else? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Sarah. Welcome back, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. My name's Chelsea. Yeah, talking to Mike though, Chelsea. My name's Chelsea. I'm in software sales. I am from Pennsylvania, and I'm 28. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome. Hi, my name's Yitzi. I'm 21 and I'm a nurse. Yitzi. And I'm from Miami. Okay. Yitzi. It's Yitzi? Yitzi. Okay. All right. Yitzi. Okay. Hi, my name is Mira, and I am turning 23 very soon. I'm a bartender and originally I am from Israel. Awesome. Okay. Great. Welcome back, sworn enemy. Uh, <laughs> as, as, as a Muslim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, We're cousins, uh, I love you. Yeah, yeah, you guys stole our land, but that's a long story. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> as you guys can tell, we're like the dirtier version of the roommates. <laughs> we're like the. We're, we get lit. Yeah, we get. We're gonna we're get your hand off this YouTube shit. Super whatever. chats, man. I'll go oh, fuck, nigga. All right, let's uh, let's continue on. So we got some super chats, Nick guys. Five dollars, ladies, stand up and show us what you're working with. All right, okay. ladies, we got some perverts in the house. They want to see <laughs> the goods. So let's. Uh, do a quick uh, stand up. You guys could take the headphones. Same guy up. from last time. I'm yeah, sorry. Same guy. No <laughs> Is it the same guy? Same guy. Snake guys. Snake guys. Snake guys. All right, ladies. Uh, Snake guys. Let's show the, you know, our chat. What's yeah, up? come on, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be lame. Don't be whack. Come on, <laughs> come, on. Gotcha. come on. Come on, stand up. Show them what you guys are working with. We love you, Snake guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Myra's whack. The rest of you guys stand up. That's Go true. ahead. Come on. I'm Myra's whack. Myra. Okay. Leave, leave, leave her out. Leave her out. Leave her out. Oh, hey, okay, okay. Okay, I'm Come on, software programmer. Come on, come on, stand up. Stand up, come on, man. Show the goods. Oh, yeah. look at them tatas. Yeah. <laughs> 1080p, baby. Oh, 1080p. Okay, there you go. All right, sweet. Uh, and then we got uh, James, Burnett. James Burnett, $10. Hope you all had a great day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to productive conversation. Okay. okay. Well, let's see, let's see if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. Love y'all content. Changed my life. Much love from Fort Bragg, North Shout Carolina. Shout out to you, man, brother. Shout out to you, bro. 
And then uh, we have a few more. A few more. Oh shit. Okay. okay. I got that big money today. Yeah, yeah. I see y'all ranking in the books. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. Uh Black Wolf Inc. five dollars. It's about to go down with Gal Get It back in a building. Yeah. That's right. That's- it is. And also James Burnett, I'm sorry for saying you have a small penis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you Just are wonderful. Oh man. No, okay. That's she don't want to get roasted, it. that's why. Size doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cat, fresh, you, 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 fresh, you got this. Yeah. I gotta put my glasses on. Rick Grimes, five bucks says, just got my first Tej order. Looking forward to it today. Hey, shout out to you, brother. Shout out to Tej Hanley. Hanley, our sponsor. Okay. Oh, my God. Use our link, though, not the roommates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now they dropped us a long they time ago. They dropped us a long Emmanuel says, um, I like doggy at Spain. <laughs> From last show. From last show. Is that, is that like doggy style? <laughs> or am I tripping? Yeah, got the kid. Style, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll make sure we do. <laughs> got work in the morning, but I got to see what's in store tonight. Love your guys' show. Thank, Thank you, brother. You. We appreciate it. Uh, we got uh, Nick Org, two bucks Canadian, says, digging your drip fresh, fresh and fit, best in the game. Thank you, man. You I go. appreciate that. H.J. Sinoj, uh, $10. All I want is a Don, Don DeMarco. DeMarco, sir, of course. Right, man. Don DeMarco, and don't worry. We will get Myra to stand up and show you guys the goods. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shazman Hanma, $2. Extra shout out to returning guests. Welcome back. Absolutely. Yep. Welcome to the sh- returning guests. Uh, Primetime VA, $5. Let's get it. Okay. Thank you very much. Cool. And then Phil Tanara's brother, Hafiz, going to drop a song. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's hilarious. Let's do it. Demilto? Okay, $5. What's good? That Spain girl is kind of cute. Anyway, would they date a guy who has a CDL and drives for a construction company? Let's go real quick a- across the table. Uh, Myra, yes or no? I would, and I have actually. Okay. Oh, wow. You well, too. my grandpa has a trucking company, so... But would the question you, is yes or no, would you date would a guy you like CEO? Yes, they make a lot of money. So okay, 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 money, really? Yeah, I yeah, am. Of course. Okay. <laughs> okay, and what about, uh, what about you? Would you date a CDO driver? Probably not. Okay, keeping I it real. a lot of attention and they're away a lot. Okay, mm. all right. That's a good right. thing, though. She can't get oh, that no, daily it's... penis. What about you, Sarah? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Okay. I have did not end it well. Probably wouldn't again. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. There okay. You go. So you got you got a fifty percent chance, man. <laughs> and then uh, let's see here. Caffeine got five dollars. James, order sixty six, please. Oh shit! They're trying to get James a roast. Yo, James, attack Myra. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Emmanuel Morales, fifteen dollars. Shout out to the roommates. Thanks for pulling up fresh. Next time you have to Frank Castle someone. Hey man, you, it bro, never, it always happens. Bad, bad call, good call, man. I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm, I'm the asshole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Right, cool, cool. So first question. We'll do it on the panel. Okay. So, so a little bit spicy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so ladies, what do you look for in a guy? And let's give two scenarios, right? We'll do casual and then long term. So we'll start with uh Sophia. So casual. Oh god. Okay. Casual, someone that I actually enjoy being around. Mm-hmm. Um, good energy, like there's no awkward silence, it's someone that can make me laugh, obviously is attractive. And then someone long term. Well, (laughs) I prefer taller men, but I don't discriminate if they are a little shorter. Do they have to be six five? Just out of curiosity. (laughs) No, but that is like the ideal. It would be perfect. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. But um, then long term, someone that's loyal, I can trust them. Stuff like that. Cute. Fair enough. Okay, so they got to be loyal. Uh, okay, let's get into some tangible things. How much do they got to earn per year for you? Oh, geez, I don't know. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, I, I guess I'll make this easy. Thank uh, you. Honda or Mercedes? Mercedes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mercedes or Maserati? Maserati. Okay, and then uh, d- let's see here. I like this. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just trying to get a range. I'm just trying to get a range here. I'm just trying to get a range here. Okay. Oh, and okay. Then, and then uh, they got to be six foot five for you. It would be nice. Okay. All right. Thank What's you. the minimum you'd go down? You have to at least be taller than me, and I'm five nine. Okay. You so they got to be, be shorter. So five ten and up. Five ten. Five, five and ten and up. Okay. Yeah. Even with even if you wear heels and you. When I'm heels, and well, I'm not a heels person. Oh, I not. never wear heels usually. All right. Usually, okay. So. Fair enough. Right. Wouldn't be an issue. All right, Sarah. All righty. <laughs> Casual and then long term. <laughs> <laughs> You know, bounce for it. Oh <laughs> hey, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, but always long term is better. Like, mm-hmm. I don't like short term. Short term, okay. If you know someone and like just want to have fun, okay, that's okay. okay. But I prefer long term and have good vibes and feel comfortable with that person. Mm-hmm. Have like confidence. 
like I don't know how to say it and feel good that's the important thing you need to feel good with that person and trust each other and I think so that's good it. vibes good energy sadly and so, support ourselves I'm gonna let my word <laughs> right, I'm gonna translate that for you guys. What that really means is have some game, don't be fucking awkward, and uh, lead me in everything that we do because <laughs> gang, I need gang. A guy, yeah, confidence means like don't let me make decisions, guys. Yep. Gang, gang. Yeah, there we go. I just translated from womanese to Mandarin, guys. There Mandarin. There wait, wait, wait. All right. But casual, how tall does he have to be? Oh, shit. Always a bit taller than me. Okay, I prefer the guy to be tall, tall. But. <laughs> like Myron? <laughs> oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. I see hey. what's going on around here. Hey, man. I'm just saying, yes, taller guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Not me. Okay. Okay. All right, Chelsea. <laughs> so for me, casual. Chelsea, do me one favor. Yeah. Pretend it's a penis. Much as it's a, oh. a big, right. yeah. a big you penis. Close yeah, to it. It's, yeah it's, I mean, you got to yeah. make love. To yeah, it. right, right there. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. It's okay. Okay, so for me, casual, I like them like kind of stupid, to be honest. Oh, shit. Wow, okay. guys. You got yeah. the control. Okay. I understand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it um, is. If it's casual, I like it to be on my terms because I don't prefer casual. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> height, I guess, would be like 6'2", probably. And yeah, just hot. Hot and stupid. 6'2", <laughs> bare minimum? 6'2", <laughs> has always been kind of like my good height, but... That's okay. just for you want to look at them, not spend time with them. All right, keep it in real. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like use that. and abuse. I understand. Yeah, By the man. way, roommates, ch- chip it anytime you want, bro. Just no, she want to use and abuse, my brother. That's what I'm saying. So real quick, we have a long night ahead of us. We guys. have a long yeah. night ahead of us. Yeah, because yeah. most of the nights right now. Uh, you know, oh, it's just good personality. Oh, guys, yeah. by the way, we're in a night of right now. 20, 25 people, so 10 and oh, up yeah, only, guys, after yep. this. So 10 and up only. Yeah, I like the video, guys. I don't want to put that mask on. It made me really hot. Pause. Yeah, okay, pause, uh, pause, let's, uh, pause. let's continue on. Um, where are we at? Okay, um, we'll read we'll read the super chats now, by guys. But from this point forward, ten and up. So Sean Five Dollars, looking forward to the show. Love the roommates interview they did with Candace Owens. That there was a go. good interview. That was actually. a good interview. I watched it. Yeah. Uh, shout out to feminism. Lol. Unlimited levitation. Five dollars. The roommates were just live with AMS, and now they're here already. Got to respect the hustle. Yeah, yep. man, we grinding, bro. Uh, CK Five Dollars. Hopefully Israel did her research this time on the peacock. <laughs> I just want to apologize formally, <laughs> bro. Uh, the nice peacock is the male peacock. Yeah. And I had a very blonde moment. Yeah, 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 guys. Let's go down memory lane real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so she didn't want to stand up, I'm gonna put her on blast. So she's like, Oh That's yeah, the, the growth peacock is the one that does all the work because she's gotta have the nice feathers and actually be attractive and all that. I was like, wait, what, what, what? Like, yo. Are you blonde? <laughs> it's actually the male peacock that's got to do all that. So uh, it was a moment. It was yeah, exactly. Just a moment. It definitely was. At this moment, she knew. Yeah, she at this moment, yeah, she yeah, knew. Uh, Sage a rage. Frank Castle retired with vetting returning female guests. The roommates might have to be Frank Castle today. Oh man. Hey, oh man. I got an extra sculpture somewhere. Uh, Axe twenty dollars. Yo, bros. I'm twenty four and I make a quarter million a year, but I'm in tech. Does girl like guys? Girl in tech? like money. You're in tech. Yeah. I Would you smash that guy? Well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> you got you six foot two and dumb. Hold on, hold on. What you two dumb and rich? A computer nerd. <laughs> Triple threat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What's going you're on? You're right, you're right. But no, no, get this, right? Computer nerd in front of computer all day, doesn't know how to talk to girls, but makes a lot of money. Would you date him? I totally would. Okay. I mean, no, no. Now, now I have obviously. to talk. Now I have to talk. Okay, okay. go ahead, man. I, no, I wanted to sit in. <laughs> See the craziness. I wanted, I wanted to listen. You want to observe. I wanted to observe. I wanted to hear how honest we're going to be tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you then, already know what time that is. And then based upon yeah. how I perceive the honesty, yeah. that's how we're going to navigate tonight. Exactly, my Very friend. Honest. Exactly. No, you haven't. <laughs> so, so, as a matter of fact, I think more would say. Detected the German. That was that, a lie. Oh, my God. Because what, what I find sometimes when you ask women these questions, it's very easy to give an answer that's politically correct in front of an audience. Yeah, for sure. But mm-hmm. then the question is, what does your past experience show you? Ooh. So it's really easy to communicate to us that you would be interested in dating a guy who's in tech because it sounds good. But ha- out of all the guys who have been in tech who have tried to approach you, how many of them got a genuine time of day? How many of them did you really consider? To be a possibility. Preach. And so to me, I just I'm just really interested in not just what you guys think you would date, but what have you actually dated in your past? Ooh. That's what Ooh. I'm curious Ooh. about. Ooh. So I'm very curious about now. like out of all the guys you've dated, which one were you the most sexually attracted to? That's what I'm curious about. And what was he like and what was his profession? 
And not just not in regards to personality, not in regards to taking home to mom, one you sexually desire the most. I want to know what he was like, and I want to know what he did. Mm. Bang okay. bang, let's, let's do start it. with Israel. Yeah, yeah. I I am attracted to men who work hard. So my last long term relationship was with a guy who fixed garage doors for a living, um, which isn't the bougiest job in the world. But so I, so sorry for cutting you off. So yeah, the, the question wasn't your last relationship. I'm asking you which guy were you the most sexually attracted to of all the guys you've ever dated. So probably when I was in the military, there was a guy who uh, outranked <coughs> me, and I found that attractive okay yes. mm -hmm. he was also very good looking okay cool. so yeah, it had yeah, a lot was... to do with his looks too okay cool. that is okay thank you miss cube and don't worry ladies you'll be able to ask us a question and grill us as <laughs> yeah, well. don't worry it. don't worry you guys she's like oh thank god <laughs> okay i don't know if i feel comfortable answering this question okay so if you don't feel comfortable answering the question of sexually attracted to so which guy were you the most drawn to like which guy do you feel like when you saw him, you're the most excited to? Be I'll around? just say it wasn't the guy with the most money. It was just a, a large regular penis. guy. <laughs> he was older than me, and um, he was just regular, but he just what made me feel what is, good. What does regular mean? Meaning he wasn't like a rich guy, like I said, or or stabilized, or like. So what did he do? What do you mean? What was his job? What was his profession? It's just. I feel it's just how you feel towards the person. Like it's an no, emotional I that, connection. But what, what did he do? What was his job? What was the profession? Oh, I don't want to say that. Yeah, you okay. Answer that. Susie said that I was like, this nigga was a drug dealer. <laughs> 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 you know, Cocaine out of Miami. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. She's okay. like, I, I don't answer that question. I'm a lawyer present. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, but he has some of that good white, white. But uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> right, obviously, white, white. White. so the one I was most sexually attracted to was an NFL player. Okay. Got done okay. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. He wasn't the kicker either. <laughs> <laughs> By no means. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mine was a singer that I met like, I think two years ago. And I think I feel so attracted with that man. I think now he's watching, so I don't want to talk more about it. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> okay. Oh, y'all got, got some stock. <laughs> yeah, we do. But the guy I was most attracted to, he just like was a car salesman. Oh, he damn. worked for like Mercedes. <laughs> Okay. Are wait, wait. Out of here, you say just a car I got a salesman? Well, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was he like? Was he a successful car salesman? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he had like a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Sarah, was it a reggaeton artist? No. Stop. <laughs> no, I can't answer that. No. Because if I say they got no, who? So I'm not gonna say who. I saw your Instagram, so I kind of know who it is. I think I know who it is. Okay, super chats, and then and then, <laughs> ladies, I'm gonna read these super chats, and you guys can grill the hell out of oh us God. with a question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, James Burnett, twenty dollars. I'm nice. If you're nice, if you're not nice, you know we cook out here. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, Sydney McTow, ten dollars. Roommates in FNF, my two favorite multi-person discussion podcasts in one. Boom. Thank you. I appreciate that. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Australia. Australia. Uh, Gr Canadian thirteen ninety nine. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Uh, OA uh, seven two seven Game Room fifty dollars. Keep the good work. This channel is straight fire and essential for any man. You guys have kept me sane during this lockdown. I hope Ma Myra came prepared with more facts and stats tonight. Oh man. Oh won. man. Yeah, oh man. Ball strike ten dollars. Do women? To sweat. <laughs> what was that? I'm sweating. Oh, you are. Uh, oh, Corona still real. Good. Corona uh, a little. Ball strike ten dollars. Do women lose respect or attraction when a man who cries over something beautifully romantic, e.g. Witnessing yes. someone else's. Oh, uh, I'll tell you right now, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then we got broke nigga lifestyles. <laughs> Yo, that's uh, fire, bro. Oh, Greetings from Brazil. I scraped my criminal cases and made it out here to Brazil. I have slept with around a record 1,300 <laughs> Brazilian ladies of the night, and now I expose these dweebs. Ha ha ha. Oh, Yo, not the You're market. Funny. Really that's funny, bro. Yo, Yo niggas is cooking him, man. He got roasted earlier today. Yo, his career is over, bro. Yeah, go, go check out our boy Monologue Danny. He roasted that nigga, man. Emmanuel yep. Morales, $20. Ladies, what makes you fear and respect men? No cap. I don't want to hear you. Don't men fear men, etc. Blah blah blah. All right, J Jared Ro uh, Robert, ten dollars. The girl with the glasses doesn't really think she is hot enough to make those kinds of demands, does she? Oh shit! You got to know yes. to that. What do you got to say? Yes, yes, I absolutely do. What like, is it? I can make any demand I want. Oh, oh shit. shit! Okay, okay. Yo, real talk. Without glasses and a little bit more cleavage, you would be surprised, okay. man. 
Say it with your chest in 1080p titties. Yeah, right. man. $10 Whatever, caffeine better. guy. Ladies, there's a high percentage you will all be single until 35. <laughs> <laughs> with that being accounted for, have you failed? If not, why not? Ladies, you got a rebuttal to that? Is that if we're lucky. Grow up. Okay, grow up. That's grow the rebuttal. Up. From Myra. That was who said it. Okay, Cam gives it to Nye. CDL driver here. Perfect collab when Hafiz and Myra throw their hands out. It's hell in this hell. <laughs> and then still sleeping, bro. Five dollars. Shout out to Fresh and Fit Gang and the roommates. Two sides of the same coin. Glad for this collab. Let's hear a sermon and get these hard truths. Facts. And then GR, uh, $14. Big up my boy Chris on the ones and twos. 242 to the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Bahamas. Yeah, shout out to the Bahamas, 242. And then also we got Trey in the back also helping yep. the sounds. It sounds well. Uh, and then Hell Has No Fear, 25 New Zealand. Israel, I own my own construction company. I used to work hard. Does that still count? That's my type. Okay, there you go. Shoot your shot, man. Yeah, we Instagram? have almost okay watching, by the way. My Instagram is Meira Brody. It's my first and last name. M-E-I-R-A-B-R-O-T-Y. And, 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 me on that one. and make sure to send dick pics, guys. All right. Hey, uh, we almost got 2,000 live viewers. <laughs> okay, uh, ladies. Ladies. No, it's your turn to ask questions to us. The yeah, guys go ahead. You can ask the most invasive thing ever. Dating, anything we'll start with Colorado. Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever you want. I'm not good at coming up with things on the spot. I, I you told guys. you right before. Okay. okay. Let's start with because she's ready. She's ready. Yeah, yeah she is ready. Yeah. Here we go. No, no. Okay, with, with love and respect. Sure. Peace and love. Uh oh. Um, okay, so here's my thing is I feel like the dating advice that you guys, I mean, I haven't I haven't seen your show. Um, I'm sure it's amazing as well. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> you guys, the dating advice that you give is kind of targeted towards like the one percent of the one percent of men. Um, do you think that the majority of your viewers are actually getting good advice from you? Oh, and damn. Why? Okay. A hundred percent. Okay. Okay. She's talking hell shit. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, who's ready? going first on this one? Okay. Um, it, it, shouldn't we give it to the special guest? Though? Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. You guys I would love to. You guys got this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, in regards to our show, we don't really specialize in dating advice. Though at times we give dating advice. We give advice on fitness, fashion, all types of different things. And so for me, my advice is always helping men become the best version of themselves. So that's just me personally. I respect that. But in regards to the idea of like Fantastic dating, advice, answer. <laughs> dating <laughs> advice for the 1%, I, I think I think sometimes you're right. I think some guys give advice and some guys are like expecting a life that only a certain amount of guys are actually going to yeah. live. And so I think it's easy to cap on social media and to cap on YouTube as a man. But I just feel like life is going to show you what you what you get and what you don't get. So our goal is always to help men become better. That's just that's what we're about on the room. You're yeah. much nicer than Myron. Not, <laughs> you say that now. Yeah, you say, you say that now. No, I mean that's that's the biggest thing. Like the advice that we give, we also put it to practice in our lives as well. So we're not just saying things that we haven't experienced or have we have we haven't done ourselves. So that's one thing we we know we're not going to do. We're not going to give them a false narrative or false sense of hope and teach these guys, hey, you do this, you're going to expect X, Y, and Z. That's not the case for everybody. You have to put years of work in. You have to really heal from the past. You have to get fit. You have to do all these things to get the level of woman that you want. So, yeah, I mean, I, that's the, what we've been about. That's what we we'll always be Accountability, about. Accountability, I like that. 100%. That's no, that's, that, 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 I mean, that's <laughs> yeah, all we do about us. <laughs> I have a question. Do I have to keep the headphones on? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're a special guest, bro. You good, man. And we got yeah. sound effects. That's why. bothering me as well. Oh, is it? It's okay. Okay. okay, okay. Oh, okay. Jesus. All right. Girls, you got to keep it on, though. Yes. So we can roast you guys. No, yeah, this sounds so much better. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because you guys do your show without headphones. Yeah. You guys yeah, are yeah. used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, nah, it's all good. Um, so, uh, question well, was, oh, yeah. Is it geared towards top percent? Yeah, yeah, man. You already know what time it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Yes. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, got him. I was, okay. So, our, our advice is basically geared towards, um, I'll just make it very simple. Most guys uh, strike out with girls really bad. And uh, you know what? Real quick, I want I want to just test the knowledge of the room. What percentage of men do you guys think are sexually active with women? Myra, don't answer. Yeah. <laughs> this again. <laughs> what percent? With women? Yeah. What percentage of guys are actually like sexually active with women getting girls? Maybe like 70. Okay. Well, hold on. You know too. Uh, 30. 30? Okay. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All right. Cool. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. not surprised. Okay. Um. So it's only actually like a small minority of men. It's around ten to twenty are having sex with like ninety percent of the girls. Eighty ninety percent of the girls. For sure. The thing is, is that it's just that girls don't see it because most guys are invisible to them. So what we teach guys yeah. is to be able to get into that top twenty percent or so of guys, you're gonna have to drastically improve yourself. You're gonna have to similar to their message. You have to get get in shape, get your money on point, get your confidence on point. And your accomplishments, I always say your confidence stems from your accomplishments and your competence. You know, it all builds upon itself. And men, you know, we have to build our value. Women are given their value, you know. So 
Yep. Um, but the thing is that most girls don't see most guys, so they're not aware. And I asked that question not to be like, oh, you guys are, you know, stupid. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that most girls are very unaware of, like, uh, the plight of men. So guys have to improve to be able to get girls. So just you said you don't believe that. Why do you Why do you feel like you don't believe that out of curiosity? Because I feel like men have it so easy nowadays. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. With the social media and the, everything that there is. Like, you can just walk into a club and get a girl and leave. And- so I have a question for you. So um, when you're on social media and guys send you DMs, how many percentage of DMs do you respond to? A Sorry. very low percent, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like one percent, maybe. Yeah. So do you? So do you think most girls are like you? Or do you think most girls are opening every single DM and responding to every last one of them? I have no idea yeah. what most girls are doing. Uh, let's just ask the room. So, how many percent of, let's say, a hundred guys DM you guys? How many percent of DMs are you actually responding to and giving like time to? Maybe like six. Okay. Fifty percent. Okay. Um, probably like ten percent, maybe. Okay, and you said a little I bit. I said like one percent. One percent. I try to respond to everyone, mm-hmm. but I I won't continue after like a first message. Like, thank you. And so, how much percent will actually like get valuable time? Mm, zero. Zero. Cool. Zero. All right. So, um, what's your name again? Yetsi. Yetsi. So Yetzi. that's that's the normal thing. So mm-hmm. as you can see, like a lot of girls, they don't respond to their DMs. So when women are like, oh, guys are sliding into a bunch of dms while the girls aren't responding and the same thing as a club like if you guys are out in a club in miami how many guys can actually approach you talk to you and actually get your number you actually go out with them the next night and take you home yeah and take you home fast yeah Yeah. so facts so i'm gonna say my part as well so like myron said earlier right a lot of guys are invisible so for example i'll ask yetzi when's the last time you've been to cvs at uh emas two days ago okay let me ask a question right do you remember the guy behind the, behind the register? No, I didn't. It was a girl. It was a girl? Okay. Was there a guy behind the register at all? No. We're not seeing him at the McDonald's. Okay, yeah. There's a guy there, right? Yeah. What was his name? I don't know. <laughs> that, but no, that's my point because, for example, right, a lot of guys want hot girls like yourself. And they don't know how to get hot Thank girls because for, <laughs> because, for example, like, <laughs> nice guy. Um, they've been taught from like Disney and different movies. You know what? Get her flowers, get her like certain things. And like they've been lied to how to get hot girls. And that's real here. What do hot girls want? Let's be honest. Six feet, six figures, maybe six, six inches. The point here is that, for example, a lot of guys don't know how to or become. More. Yeah, <laughs> or more, or more. Or more. <laughs> a lot of guys don't know how to become successful to get what they want. And as a matter of fact, for a guy, he has to become to be someone in this world. And sorry to say, like most guys are not going to make it because they don't have the driver ambition to do it. But for guys that want to do it, we teach them to say, you know what? If you want to become that person, the top 10, 20% to get what you want out of life, we can help you get there. And are we saying everyone's going to do it? No. But we understand that most guys that want to do it will actually at some point achieve it for themselves on some level. And I just want to say something too, real quick. Yeah. You, she mentioned social media and the internet. Yeah. And I would say, actually, that's the biggest reason why so many men fail now. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because what's happened is... Um, Okay, so think of like, you know, the world is globalized. Now, like the dating market is globalized too. So like girls that like, let's say a girl in like, you know, Montana somewhere, she would have access to like just the guys in her immediate area, right? But now with the internet, she's bad enough. She puts up some pictures of herself She's going to get attention from guys all over the country. Flowing out, too. Flowing out, whatever it may be. I'm I know you got out. those offers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm the one for yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so what the internet's done is, since women date up anyway, what it's done is it's made more guys invisible to girls. And girls, since girls date up. Now, if I have options in, let's say, Miami, Florida, L.A., New York City, why am I going to deal with guys in my local neighborhood when I got millionaires hitting me up in the internet? So if anything, Instagram and social media has made it more difficult for men, but made it easier for women. And then so, one last yeah. thing. So your point of origin is guys that you see around you. And most girls only date the top 10% of guys. So you're saying they get, want them, yeah. they get laid a lot of times because they're the top 10%. But everyone else, 80% is invisible to you. So that's right. why you're seeing that point of, point of origin. That, that makes sense. Yeah, guys at McDonald's, he ain't getting none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now. <laughs> yeah pretty exactly. much. Facts. But, I mean, Fresh, you know the girl that works at CVS down the street, bro. Because she's attractive. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Got her Instagram. About to go tonight. Yeah, like guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like guys don't... <laughs> Like guys don't care about a girl's yeah, care. money, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. uh, anyway, uh, super chats real quick, um, and then we'll continue on with, uh, let the ladies grill us. Uh, uh, 
We're going 10 and up, right? Only? Yeah, 10 and up. Yeah, we yeah. are. Uh, maybe. We'll have to go 20 and up now. Oh, 20 point. and up, yeah. Because, yeah, okay. Ladies, when you date someone, how soon after you come to the conclusion that this new guy doesn't measure up to the best guy you've had in your past, you dump him? And what criteria do you use? Uh, Pepa, Roja. That's a good question. Right, cool. um, but I don't know if I'll get time to get to that. Real talk, $10. Uh, well, no, 20 20 bro. Um, oh, well, okay, well, we'll read that just because he didn't yeah, know. Yeah, he didn't know. Uh, it's not about false hope. It's about it's giving us fighting chance. Without the advice men like this give, we're running in traffic blind. Facts. Yeah. No one teaches guys how to get girls. Rolo Tomasi in the chat. Yeah. The ten dollars super oh, chat. Shout out to Rolo. It's about time you donated, man. <laughs> about you, time you, you cheap ass. Ninja watchers. Ninja watchers. Shout out to Rolo Tomasi, guys. Yo, get his book, guys. Uh, Rational then, meal. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna pull it out here in a second. And then we have one more. Uh, fifty dollars. Hey, can you read that one real quick, fresh? Yeah, James Burnett. Fifty bucks says, I find it odd that Israel gives off such a su such a masculine energy, but does not understand that she's speaking out of the same inter inter indoctrination, talking points as the rest of the womanism, womanists that are so common and dominant in our society. You're not special. Hmm. Okay. And real quick, our okay. boy, guys, The Rational okay. Male. I thought get we were going to play nice this time, yeah. James. Yo, get, <laughs> get the book, guys, by the Rash, uh, Royal Otomasi, Rational Male. Great book. Changed my life. Uh, every man needs to read this book. Uh, yeah, James so, ain't playing tonight, yeah, bro. James, is he still roasting? <laughs> okay. okay. Now, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you asked yours, and then... Wait, no, she wants to respond to James. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Response. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What do you got to say? Um, I don't think that... I think that having opinions is good. I think that everybody should be able to discuss and we should be put in a box. Like, yes, I would consider myself, trigger word, a feminist. But... I'm ready to get <laughs> shit on. Yeah. But, um, but at the same time, like, I also, you know, I completely... I'm okay with the whole red pill movement. I understand it and I like to listen and I like to learn. That's all. Oh, she said, I don't know what you're talking about, Red Pill. There. Yeah, There's I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Matrix? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, um, so you have, uh, it's your turn. You want to grill us? Question for us? Fresh. Okay. So my question is a little inappropriate. I wanted to know why. There's no inappropriate here. Yeah, you can say anything it's you okay. want. okay. I'll, wanted... I'll reveal that I dated a drug dealer. I wanted I'm to sorry. know why do guys send like random dick pics out of nowhere? Because that just ends up getting you fucking blocked like i don't like that mm. <laughs> that's a very good question it's a great question you know what romance guess of like, honor? that's you're, too much <laughs> you're yeah, next guess of honor i think can answer yeah. these. Yeah. <laughs> all right i am somebody that has not did or sent a dick pic before but as the head ass is in me <laughs> i can see why guys do it especially if they're desperate they're doing things out of just desperate to get your attention it's not a good way to get your attention no. at all but these guys sit there it's they a turn think, off it's a huge huge turn off i understand but these guys like i said when they are just sitting in their in their room and they just visualize the things they get desperate they can talk Lotion. themselves into making to <laughs> really questionable decisions and that's why they do it and probably it's been some bad teachers as well if you do it you can get her attention like guys give all kinds of excuses to send that dick pic like I said, I don't condone it, fellas. You should not do it whatsoever because I haven't seen it work at all. Well, send all. it to your mom, so don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All right. All righty. Well, okay. the strange thing is how you know their mom's IG. But okay, that's a whole other thing. <laughs> Wait, um, Hobbies? Oh, yeah, Hobbies, please. No, I mean, I think similar to Chris. I think, um, well, I mean, one thing, it works for some guys. I think that's the reality of the matter. It works for some guys. If, if there's a girl that you're interested in and you send her a, a dick pic, it works. But I think sometimes what guys think is because it worked with one girl, it worked with all the girls. Mm -hmm. And so unfortunately, I think that's what creates that feedback loop in a guy's mind that, oh, I sent it to Ashley, not sent it to Marianne, it's going to work. But nah, she's a whole new chick. So I think unfortunately, when guys see that if something works once, they keep on doing it or they hear their homies say like, oh yeah, I sent a dick pic, it worked. Then he wants to send it again. So And then they be lying. Yeah. And then they some horn balls as well. <laughs> <laughs> and they got no game. That's another reason. Yeah. It's all good. The name. Okay. But, I have a but I have a question. I have a question for you. Has a guy ever sent you a dick pic and you appreciated it? Keep it real. Keep it real. It depends because if it's a guy that I don't even know like that, I don't appreciate it. But if it's a guy that I'm like already established in a relationship with, then okay, yeah, I'll appreciate it. Okay. But okay. even then, like I've already, I like to see it in person. Like I don't care about that whole like yeah. snapping me or like sending me a message, a picture of your. I don't yeah, want but, that. But the reality is, is like, so like you appreciated it, right? If you like the guy. That's what you just said. Okay, yeah. If I like the guy, yeah. Yeah. So I think some guys in their brains, they don't understand the difference between a girl liking them and not liking but them. But what I meant is like, I've never met you and you're over here sending me dick pics. Like, what is that? Yeah, because I think some guys, they think that that girl likes them. 
So it's worked on another girl. So he might see another girl on social media and then he thinks that she likes him. So he sends his dick pic. But how can you like someone if you haven't even met them? You never liked a guy that you never met before? No. So you've never been really attracted to a guy really you never met before? I'll think they're cute, but I won't like be like that. I'll all over obsessed with them. No. Okay. What about Bad Bunny? <laughs> oh, come on, man. That bunny's different. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, listen, okay. I listen to his music. Yeah. I fantasize about him. So. But see, same but, way. Those guys on Instagram, you know, your pictures, your stories, they're like, oh my God, Cuban. <laughs> oh, they can make up stories. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want it. So. The, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. So why do you, do you know why you like Bad Bunny personally? Can you like, I like his music. I like his, his style. Yeah. I like, I just like so you, you like his his aura, his, the 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 clout tea, the 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 music, the fact that he's talented, he's he's famous, yeah, et cetera, he's right? cute too. Okay, how you feel about him? That's exactly how men feel about women that are attractive. Okay, yeah. that's so so you get so you get a grasp of like how men feel about like that's women. Good to know. Yeah, so there, now you get an example so of like what women it is. are like celebrity to men. Some Not, some guys a, a, from, 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 from an attractive, attractive way, way. Okay. From, from, from a, a, yeah. a hardly like uh, like sorry from like it like a. Uh, like a primal like attraction feature, okay. like the way, same way you're attracted to Bad Bunny okay. because he's checking off those boxes: the fame, the money, the mm -hmm. stability. Other women want him. Other men want to be him. That social status, like you're attracted to that. Because let's keep it real, he's not the best looking guy. Pause. Yeah, but you're you like him for the other things that he brings to the right. table as a man. That's how men look at women that are physically attractive. That's that's that same visceral attraction. And I'll say one, one more thing here as well regarding uh, D pics. Like I never sent one myself, but I can understand why guys do because, for example, like he said. Sometimes it works on certain girls, but here's the problem, right? Like, when you send deep pics to random people, like, they can even take that and do, like, a screen grab and then share it with people. So, basically, you're putting yourself at risk, guys, so I would not recommend you do that. That's like me too, Arab boy. That's yeah, you can't do it. Yeah. You, you should not be doing that nowadays, yeah. guys. Yeah, yeah. You should not be doing that. Cool. Yeah, facts. Um, okay. Chelsea, uh, your turn. My question, I think, is a little... Can you talk into the mic, though? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that yeah. people can know what it is. Appreciate you. It's a little more inappropriate. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, make love to the mic. No, make yeah. it, make it, make They're it spicy. They're inappropriate. Pretend it's that NFL player. <laughs> oh, my God. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this funny. Okay. So, if you guys are in, like, a long-term relationship, because I've seen this before, and okay. you're thinking about threesomes, right? Oh. So, typically, if it's another woman, guys are always okay with it. But if you ever like introduce another guy, they're not. If it's long term, right? Why is that? You, you know why, though. I know where this You is know going. why, right? It's a train. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But no, like, let me finish the question. Sorry, go ahead. Ahead. sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Finish the question. Sorry. No, so I just mean that um, like when it's, it's, I don't want to say it's kind of a double standard, but whenever men are into it, they're thinking like, yeah, two women, definitely super hot. You know, that's something I want to do. And I can stay in a relationship long term with someone who would do it. And me as someone who, like I mentioned earlier, I like a lot of attention. I don't like either. But men are typically one-sided. They'll do it with another woman, but not another man. And I mean, do, do you think that's a double standard? And why or why not? Mm. So there was an um, <laughs> interesting New York Times article that came out, I think it was a couple of years ago, like 10 years ago, about like the, the differences between male and female sexuality. And what they found was they showed three types of pornography to male and females. They well, showed remember this study. This is fantastic. No, no, keep going. Keep going. So, 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 study group. <laughs> uh, you so, so, so what they showed was they, they first, they showed heterosexual pornography. Then they showed homosexual pornography. And then they showed this animal having sex. And what they found is that when it came to men, men were generally speaking, heterosexual men were only turned on by the heterosexual sex. When it was two guys, they weren't that turned on. When it was animals, they weren't that turned on. But what they found in the women is that the women were turned on by all three of them. And what you especially see amongst women who watch pornography, if women are being honest, most women don't watch heterosexual pornography. Mm -hmm. A lot of women watch homosexual pornography. They watch two women a lot of the times. Is that fair to say? No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. What, what is sex? Do, when, when, when most when a lot of women watch pornography, a lot of women prefer to watch two women than a guy and a girl. True. Yes. True. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Now it makes sense why you hate dick pics so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's watching yeah. chicks get it so on. You say false. What about you? True. True. Four out of five. Wow. So it's 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 a normal thing. So 
So the argument is that female sexuality is way more fluid than male sexuality. So for a lot of women, they're they're sexually drawn to the idea of another woman. They'll be okay with it. Whereas a guy, he just will be turned off. Yeah. He will not be able to get hard with another guy in the bedroom. But I have a question. Do you think that's because social conditioning? Because right now, if I make out with her, I'm fine and I'm cute and I'm bisexual. If you turn and make out with him, you're both gay for life. Okay. Oh, so do you shit. think that's oh, social shit. conditioning? No, I think it goes back to the feminine Nigga. nature. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's social conditioning. I just think feminine nature is more flexible than, ma- than men. I think that's the reality of it. I think women, if women were a substance, women would be a gas or a liquid and men would be a solid. I think women are just naturally more flexible than guys would be. And so I also think in regards to that dynamic in relationships, I think a lot of times women who engage in threesomes, they're doing it to keep a relationship. And it's because they they try to tell their guy to not cheat. And if you don't cheat, that's just add a girl to it. But I don't think I don't see guys in that position where they're having to beg a woman to, OK, I'm going to add a guy. And then so you won't cheat. So I think sometimes it comes from that dynamic in a relationship where a guy is usually bringing a third girl and the woman is using that as an excuse for him not cheating. Whereas a guy, he just won't tolerate that. All yeah. right. So I'm going to have to give the politically incorrect answer. <laughs> Women don't know what the fuck they want, and I'm going to explain it right now. So the study that Hafiz is talking about, there was another one very similar conducted in Northwestern University. And what they did was very similar, showed women erotic images, but they asked them what they were turned on by, and they attached electrodes to their genitals. Okay. 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 And what they found was... I'm into the, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they asked the heterosexual men, what are you turned on by? Oh, well, I like girls getting on and lesbians. Cool. Basically, it was congruent, like what they tapped on the button and what their genitals actually showed with the electrodes was congruent. They what they said they were aroused by is what they're aroused by. Um, but when they the women, they asked them, what are you aroused by? Obviously, they say the politically correct things. Oh, mm-hmm. hot guys, you know, heterosexual sex, maybe some girls kissing here and there. When they showed them all the images, they clicked on the button when it was politically correct things. You know, a guy walking on a beach, whatever. But what they were actually turned on by was the monkeys banging, the the gay sex, everything. So. Women, unfortunately, don't really like what they say they're around, what they say they like and what they're aroused by are two different things. Right. And I hate to say it like that, but it's just that's why I tell guys all the time. Don't listen to what women say. Oh, I like this and a guy I like this. Like women are incentivized to lie about what they're aroused by because the things that they're aroused by are politically incorrect and unfortunately unflattering. So women are never going to tell the truth about what they're aroused by. So to go back to your question, there is a double standard and men and women are different and we're not equal. I always say this on the podcast, a key that opens many keys, uh, a key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that opens any key is a shitty lock. So men must earn their sexual abundance. Women just get it naturally. So it is unacceptable for you to have sex with two guys if you're in a relationship with a guy and he's going to be turned off because promiscuous women repulse men. We're, we're hardwired to be repulsed by them. However, um, men that get a lot of women are attractive to women, despite what women say. Oh, no, he's a dog. He's an asshole. But nah. you like Bad Bunny. A big part of the reason why you like Bad Bunny isn't because... He's just a, a musician and a celebrity, etc. It's because other women want him. Women are attracted to men that other women want to fuck, whether they want to admit it or not. So that is why it's acceptable for your boyfriend or whatever to want to threesome with two women, whereas you wanted to get a train run on you is socially unacceptable. My brother said a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's my that's my take on it. But I know that's the incorrect. That's like not nice to say, but like real talk, women don't know what the fuck they want. Anyway, <laughs> I call me a misogynist, but yeah. Can I say I said this last time yeah, as sure. well? Ahead, but but it's possible that women aren't encouraged to explore their own sexuality, and so they're For not sure. they're not For comfortable sure. saying what they want. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And women are also sexual beings. We also want, want sex. We just are, we, we're also very conscious but you're not honest what about our it. man wants. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, because, I'm not saying because that the standard that men have set for us is exactly. impossible. It sucks. It sucks. Like it sucks. Cause like women can't be sexual because you guys are going to be shamed and called sluts or whatever it may be. You're going to be insulted, whatever. So women by are men like you, but <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, Hey, I didn't make the rules. I just report them. I'm telling you that if you want to get in a long-term relationship with a guy and he want you want him to take you seriously and possibly put a ring on it, you better not be a hoe. Cause he, if he finds out he's going to, he's going to, he's going to get rid of the wedding. I'm just saying I, what I men aren't going to admit. Both ways. I, I think you're right. I will not be sleeping around if I'm in a long-term relationship, exactly. but it should go both ways. No, I no, know you disagree, no. but that's no. what I think. And yeah, I also wait, wait. What? Um, I curiosity. What do you mean by go both ways? You mean in regards to if a guy had a lot of sexual partners, you wouldn't take him seriously, or you're saying in no? A, I'm saying I'm saying 
in the duration of the relationship. Okay. I don't care what happened before. I guess what Myron is oh. saying that if a guy, if a woman hears a guy has multiple sexual partners, that usually is, doesn't hurt him. But if mm -hmm. a man hears a woman has multiple sexual partners, it usually hurts her. Is that what you're trying to communicate? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, no guy. I wonder if that's yeah. something that you guys are hide. Sorry, I can't speak. Hardwired. Uh, yeah, that's the word. They are. For my brain. Men, men are hardwired to be so, repulsed so, by uh, women that are promiscuous. They're hardwired. Okay, because so you can't. Shout out to like, Rotomasi. He's in the chat. It's because we can't ensure paternity with a promiscuous woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aren't there tribes? In, in like rural parts of wherever that they they have uh, polygamous relationships where the women are the polygamous ones. There's a tribe. I'm not. I mean, correct. Did me you research on this one? I did research. I can attest that. Yeah, I've heard yeah. That. yeah. There's but, a tribe out yeah. there that the more when a woman gets pregnant, she tries to sleep with as many men as possible because any man that has slept with her is considered has to be a father figure for the child. So she, it's in her benefit too. I've heard. I've heard of it. But when I what I've understood is one that's like the anomaly, right? Mm -hmm. That's like that's not the natural occurrence in the animal kingdom. And to me, a lot of times that happens in tribes where there's like no guys around mm -hmm. in order to ensure like the, the, the redistribution of the gene, gene pool. So they're like, hey, we got to Everyone has smashed everything that we get preg pregnant. So so I, I see that in regards to just like that's not the normal occurrence, though, in regards to like men. But it, it does happen in one or two. I've, I've heard it before. My, I can test my it. thing is try that in America and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Some women yeah. do. Um, but no, but I mean, to answer your question, th that's why I would say there's a there's such a crazy double standard is because sex is very difficult for most men to get, which we discussed earlier, like like a small percentage of men are having sex with the, a majority of the girls. So that is why most guys have a serious problem with uh, sharing their girl with another man, because it's not easy to get laid for guys. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't want my girl to get touched by another guy. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what it comes yeah. down. Yeah, to. men are very territorial with yeah. with 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 women, and it comes back to like I said that the hard wiring. Shout out to Rolo, get his book, guys. He talks about this, and I talk about I refer to this all the time. Um, you can ensure your paternity because you're carrying the child. The man can't. So that's why guys are naturally repulsed by women that are promiscuous. It's like, bro, I don't even know is this kid fucking mine. That's yeah. every every woman's nightmare is to like you know no offense to get graped in a hallway or something like that in an alley graped I'm keeping it YouTube friendly <laughs> if I use the word without the G you guys yeah uh, every woman's fear is to get graped right every guy's fear is to raise a child that they thought was theirs and it find out later it wasn't that's yeah. every guy's fear all right quick break here we got super chats oh and, shit uh, okay let's up. hit these uh, super chats real quick but well, um well Chris did you have some. Oh yeah, no. Nah, I'm just saying, like, I worked hard to get my girl, and this guy ain't about to just walk in the bedroom. So, <laughs> like, nah, he's not done. I would have want my man to just accept that at all. No, I, I want somebody who. Yeah. 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 I'm not accepting that. No, hell no, 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 no. Yeah, no self-respecting guy is gonna share his girl. Uh, RP Mike, hundred dollars. Uh, one. Oh my god, my, I need my glasses. One correlation yeah. that this show exhibits um, almost every single episode is that the girl blatantly lies the most, usually exhibits the greatest degree of sex superiority complex. Which we all learn as we grow fundamentally is a distinct sign of social slash sexual insecurity. Oh shit, Mike, you shoot oh, sure shots? Yeah, God damn. God damn. Yo, are you shooting sure shots at somebody? That was very well uh, laid out. I think he's assaulting somebody. Say, say it with your chest, bro. Yeah, say, say, say okay, it with me, bro. Uh, Cold Steel, twenty dollars. Guys, send D pics because it's some front fun and they have nothing to lose. They know <laughs> except your that job. If they're nice, they'll <laughs> still block them anyway. Hey, what's your Instagram again so they can send them? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, uh, what's, your, what's your Instagram though? Mine. Yeah. Yitzita Exo, Y I T S I T A Exo. I was about to say because I didn't know. Send them dick pics, baby. <laughs> Planes and building, twenty seven ninety nine. What's good, F and F fam? No ninja watching it. It lit episode tonight. Shout out to the roommates. Candace Owens interview was fire. It was an excellent interview, yep. man. There's a Reddit post about the panel tonight saying Sarah is Myron side. Oh, hey. Yeah, fuck you, oh, bro. Fuck. I don't mean nothing. Okay, oh, wait twenty five dollars. It isn't difficult to hear a womanist opinion in a Western country. What is harder to find in a cult countercultural uh, opinion? The dating advice may only apply to a small amount of men, but the opinions expressed apply generally. Yeah, okay, that was from the question earlier. Uh, and then Dan, Ed Dandy, twenty dollars. It's a threesome because the women most often kiss and touch each other, but when it's two men, they not kissing, enjoying each other. Not the woman, which makes it so true. Oh yeah, fresh. James Burn at twenty dollars. Israel does does it upset you the fact that RP truth is in fact the real truth, or the fact that you brought you but, bought into a lie and wrapped your identity in it? What's your AK womanism? You got a shot back at that. I, I mean, nothing is a lie, and nothing is a truth. Everybody has their own opinion, and I respect everyone's opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I did. I grew up in a place where uh, it was very religious, so there was very blatant sexism, which is probably why I have some strong opinions on sexism. I will admit that here it's not like that. 
I am the way I am. Oh shit. Yeah, what she's really saying, bro, is Okay. <laughs> the power that you have, Myron. <laughs> with the soundboard. Yeah, hey, man, I, I'm a one with the soundboard. And then, okay, uh, and then RP Mike, we read that earlier. Cool. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Mike, for that um, for that donation. Sarah, what is your question? All the way from Spain. Okay. Okay. Well, shit, here we go. For you guys, Yes. when someone say, like, toxic girl, what that means, like, that girl is toxic? Oh, attitude. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> Emotionally unstable. <laughs> and like to destroy things mm -hmm. when she gets upset when she what she feels is true so she acts accordingly all those things okay I think that's answered the question yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got one to like an answer like an ask. <laughs> why, why do you ask what that means that toxic I know but why, why did you ask why uh -huh. you feel some similarities <laughs> Checking. <laughs> <laughs> that was like no question on my mind. Uh, <laughs> I was curious. Okay. Okay. Mine, go ahead. No, I mean uh, I, I agree. Well, Chris, it basically, like a honestly, a toxic woman is a woman that doesn't follow a man's lead. Because I, I, okay, this is gonna be uh, controversial <laughs> once again. Here we go. I can't wait for it. Uh, women when left to their own devices are inherently self-destructive. It's in almost every biblical text, uh, as Muslim text. You know, it, even. You know, the, I'm the not religious people. anymore. Uh, you're not. Oh, so I don't wonder why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, a real talk, I, I I firmly believe that um, men and women are better together, and uh, women excel under the leadership of a man in a, in a relationship. Um, because, and I think, like I said, we work better together than we do apart. And the reason why is because um, there's empirical data that shows this: men are logically sound. We make our decisions on logic and reason, and then emotion comes last. Women make a lot of their decisions based on emotion first, which I'm not saying every decision you make is going to be bad. But if you base all your emotions on decision first, or all your decisions on emotion first, there's going to be a lot of bad decisions, you know. So yeah. um, what I've noticed is that, you know, women, as they get older, right, and they're <laughs> kind of left to their own devices, they haven't really had a strong masculine authority in their life, whether it's a father, uh, a boyfriend or a husband or whatever. They're not happy, bro. They're not happy. And, and I think uh, they need that stable uh rock of masculinity to be able to go through life without really having to worry because women look for security you know what i'm saying it's not enough to be on their own yeah and, and also a lot of like uh i want to say this in reverse so girls call guys that are like alpha and kind of like um how to put this dominant dominant toxic right put it in reverse now a, a woman that's uh independent boss babe what did you do when they get home with their man arguable stuff they're very um combative and there's also competition so to me, I, I consider that toxic because, for example, they look good on the outside, but on the inside when you get home, it's like a, a whole headache. So it's kind of toxic right there. Yeah. I mean, and that's that, that's just what and, and they've done studies on this. They found that the uh, most happy demographic of women is women that have children or, and they're at home. I'm not saying women can't work. Yeah. But what I am saying is that women derive their pleasure far differently than the men, men do. do. Men derive their pleasure from success and earning and conquering the world. Yeah. Women derive their 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 success from having children, having a family. I'm not saying she can't work. But I've noticed every career woman, career woman, once they have kids, bro, what happens? Oh, fuck this. I'm taking time off. I'm going to start going and hanging out with the kids more. I'm going to spend more time. And then their career takes a backseat as soon as they have children. So women are hardwired to be nurturers and care for children, man. That's that's what I personally think. So uh, quick, and this, and back quick break. We got uh, uh, I'll be kingdom in the fucking house, the bro. Kingdom. Wait, I'm sorry. I really need to <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. No, that's the dictatorship. You can't do it. You can't do it. Uh, salute to my brothers, my favorite duo, uh, Fresh and Myron. Uh, respect to the roommates, another duo I respect. Uh, love from the Bay, always keep killing it, bro. Thank you, Afi Kingdom. You're Thank you, Afi. Appreciate that. Uh, no, oh, what's up to him? Okay. Um, cool. And uh, Miss Colorado, do you have you come up with a question now? <laughs> I actually just came up with that. Okay. Um, cool. So, going with the whole womanism thing, do you guys think men and women should be treated and are equal? It's oh. a fantastic Whoa. question. We'll leave it. We'll let our uh, special guests take that one. Um, I know a lot of people will say different things. I think in regards to value, I think they are equally valuable. Um, in regards to dignity, I think they're. They, I think both humans have equal dignity. Um, in regards to um, respect, I think all, all humans deserve equal respect. But I think they're different. You know, I think they're 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 equal, but they're different. And so to me, it's like a team, 
you know, a, uh, every team member is valuable to a team, but there's a quarterback and there's a running back, there's a point guard, there's a shooting guard. So I think men and women are equal in regards to value. They're all, both human beings, but I think they're different. I think what women bring to the table is different from what men bring to the table. So that's just my personal opinion. I love you. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> I we were talking for like 10 minutes about the. He just will not accept that different and equal are separate. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I got brother, you. Do I need to move back? Oh, wait, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I feel like I'm going to cross my own. Yeah, yeah. 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 we, got, we got 3,000 live viewers, by the way, in the house, guys. Please like the video. video. Sub to the channel, guys. Um. Yeah, no. Um. Well. Now, I guess we're going to have this talk. That's it. He's stumped. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. It's that men and women are not the same. We're completely different. The way we process emotion, the way we process decision making, physicality, we're completely different. Now, with that said, am I saying that men are superior to women from like a human standpoint? No. But we are superior to you guys in some things, and you guys are superior to us in some things. It's a different tune. Exactly. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But we're not equal, though, at all. Because like the problem is that and i know where you're going with this like hey are they equal well we're not because th like there is equality in the world right but what a lot of women want is they want equality of outcome they don't want necessarily equality because if we want equality then okay why then we're going to have one standard with the police force we're going to have one standard with the military we're going to have one standard with any type of uh job that requires physicality or whatever it may be but it's not that it's not about equality it's about you know, women's soccer want to get paid equally to men. No, you know, like, like, no, number one, you guys are trash. You guys don't get, get any type of money, no <laughs> revenue. And if you guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it a state. You guys are trash. Professional female soccer players get beat by 60 year olds and high school boys. So you do not deserve to get paid more because number one, you don't generate the revenue. And then number two, you're just not good enough. And if you are good enough, play with the men, but they don't want that. They don't want, they want equality when it suits them. They want equality of outcome. But the, the reality is we have perfect equality of opportunity, but they want equality of outcome. And I think that's where the problem is, because men and women are not equal, like at all. You know, we're completely different. And by us being different, inherently, that makes us unequal because there's different there's different standards that you, you guys can't compete with us in a, uh, in a bunch of things. You know what I'm saying? Something I, I go ahead. OK, oh, something I, I something can't I can't stand is yeah. when a guy goes out and does one thing mm -hmm. and then gets mad at you for doing the exact same thing because, oh, you're a girl. You we like there's different standards. Like, Can no, you give an example? Yeah, please give an example. Okay. So say a guy is talking to like three people or goes out and has hooked up with like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So say the girl has done the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, well, that's gross. I'm like, you've like hooked up with way more people or you've done that with way more people. You're talking to way more people and I'm the gross one. Like. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, want to be the whole bad guy. Help so, me out here. So I, I understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I feel you, pain. <laughs> but to me, I'm not uh like I think sometimes even with the word equal doesn't mean we have equal rules, if that makes sense. Like we don't have the same rules. So let me give you an example. Do you care if a guy taller than you if a guy was yes. shorter than you would that turn you off yes if a woman was shorter than you would that turn you off no that's not fair but what about taller but what if she was taller than you no, let's, let's, we'll, we'll get there we'll get we'll get there yeah if she was shorter than you would you would that turn you off no that's not fair i can see where you're coming from with that you know so Example. what yeah so so even to your point uh would you want a guy taller than you yes, yes would you want a woman taller than you not really. More than likely not. So I think each gender has unique sexual standards. And I'm not the one to demonize whoever's standards. But I think sometimes women want men to have the same standards as they do. But women can make that rule, too. Women can make a rule and say, you know, if you're a guy and you smash five girls, we won't want you. You can make that rule. But the problem is they're not. It's actually going to turn them on. It's actually going to make them desire him more and want to be the winner. So to me, a lot of times the double standards, a lot of women get mad at it, but you could either change your rule. But then when there's rules that men are like, hey, we get mad. Like, for example, do you care about a man making a less money than you? No. So if a man made $20,000 a year and you have to take care of most of the bills, you wouldn't mind that? No, not I mean, me. it would suck, but like I would encourage him cap, to hustle. Cap, well, cap, but, 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 but
<laughs> nah, I mean, I've definitely been the one in the relationship before to pay for everything. And how did that make you feel, be honest, compared to the guy who took care of you? Like I had the power. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> life isn't fair. And there's certain things like we all have different roles, right? Men are supposed to bring home the bacon, you know what I'm saying, take care of the family. Women are supposed to like nurture, raise, raise the kids. We have, we have different roles, right? But for example, you're saying, for example, the double standard is he can have girls, but, but I can't have guys. And think about this, right? The guy that you want has multiple girls. But for him, he only wants a girl that's going to be pure for him. He wants purity. So you going out there and dating different guys is like, yo, I don't want you. And the point here is that you want to have a top percent guy. Those guys don't want um, girls that are that are unpure. So you, you might have to lower your standards to get what you really want. But at the same time, are you going to do that? Probably not. Hell no. Exactly. So I'm going to just keep looking. I'm going to stay single. <laughs> but that period. <laughs> but see, that's, that's unfair, though, because, yeah. you know, what I'm saying it's never going to be fair. So that's just how life is. And that's, and that's the biggest thing about dating right now. Where yeah. I feel like it's, it's a huge problem. We, we have discussions and conversations like this to really, you know, get the dialogue going. Yeah. But that's the biggest thing. You know, we want the same outcome, but we have different playing fields mm. and we are a huge miscommunication on top of the social media, on top of bad teachers, on top of unrealistic expectations. And that's something that we all have to do better at because yeah. if we want something, we have to make sure that we're qualified to get that kind of guy or girl. You know, that's the good thing about our platforms. We understand that as men, but we feel like sometimes women don't really understand that right. as well. Very well said, because for example, we know what we want in women but the women know what they want in men. It's kind of like we both want the same things that like you said, but we don't know how to get there or what to do to get those things. And yeah. that's the big disconnect between men and women because, for example, I might want a, a bad Latina girl, right? But guess what? Her family only speaks Spanish. So I need to learn Spanish. But I may say to myself, you know what? Forget that. I don't, I, I don't want to learn Spanish. So life, is, li life isn't fair, but certain things you have to do to get what you want. And that's just like the big disconnect here. I think everybody wants different things. I, I think that you guys preach a lot of like, this is the recipe for success if you want to find a female. Mm -hmm. Or females, this is the recipe if you want to talk to your man. But um, everyone's unique. Like, like you might be, you might want a guy who is cool with you, you know, having fun and doing your thing. And there's a guy out there who's going to think that's hot. There's, there's, there's a lot of crazies out there. <laughs> the whole factor like that's why sometimes i feel like women don't tell the truth to other women because they give a false sense of hope saying mm. that it'd be so many guys that would accept who you are right now and it's not the case we see a lot of women are single a lot of women are divorced and i mean that's not even ever been married before by be choice no, <laughs> they say that that is by choice. That's a, I think they just go with that mindset after you know years of singleness and they made this independent lifestyle. Like, yeah, I'm happy I did this my choice. But when you, they see your friends and you get in the upper thirties, upper forties, you wish you long for that that companion. You long for you know that nurturing spirit. That's why a lot of women have dogs, it's fishes, cats, cats, and goddamn cat woman out here. Yeah, I'm gonna just say it, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna just say it, man. Women buy when you lie. There's more money to be made by telling women the the comfortable truth, the yeah. lies, yeah. from telling them the uncomfortable truth. You know Shout what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Derek Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Shout <laughs> out to Derek Jackson. <laughs> Scam ass nigga, man. man. <laughs> they, 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 our opinions do not reflect that of the roommates. Okay? Yeah, the roommates. Because if we roast this nigga, it's not, it, it has nothing to do with that. Him. But he's a perfect example. What did he do? Hey, for the ladies that don't know, Derek Jackson is a dating coach that um, supplicated to women. So what he would do is he would tell women, hey, no matter how fat you are, rude you are, bitch you are, masculine you are, you'll find old a man you for are, you. You deserve a man that's top shelf, that's in the top 3%, and he should take you as you are, you're a queen. And the problem is that men understand from a young age that there's a burn of performance and that we have to go out there and get it to get girls. Women don't, though. Women think, a lot of women, I'm just going to keep it real, I'm not saying you ladies, but a lot of women think, Hey, I'm showing up. I'm God's gift to men. Take me as I am, no matter how rude or fat, whatever. And I'm here to tell you, hoes. <laughs> nah, <laughs> fuck out of here. If you're fat, if you're rude, if you're bitchy, if you're masculine, whatever, I kick these chicks off the show. And the thing is, is that women aren't held to a standard and a lot of women aren't held accountable for their actions. I get made a TikTok video, went viral, okay? All I said was, if a girl flakes on a date, you need to punish bad behavior and make her pay for the next set of drinks when you guys go out on a date when she reschedules, but she's got to hit you up. Everyone, you're a misogynist, toxic masculinity, blah, blah, blah. 
We live in a bizarre world now where if a man stands up to a woman's bad behavior and calls out said bad behavior, he's labeled a misogynist, mm -hmm. toxic, etc. So since women have this um, entitlement to a certain caliber of man, a lot of girls, I hate to say it, live in a bizarre world. They don't live in reality. You got girls that are in their 40s, mid-30s, two kids thinking, I want a guy that's six foot three. Hundred thousand dollars plus a year, etc. You guys don't believe me? Go look at Kevin Samuel. You'll see a bunch of beat chicks on there trying to get a high value guy. It's ridiculous. So, the thing I want to say is this: going back to your question, you said why? What's this double standard with with sex? Right? Was this this guy that had this problem? Were you guys like in a relationship? Kind of. Eh, ish. Ish. Okay. Question. And I want I know we'll pose this question out to all the ladies because there tends to be a lot of confusion with this as far as like, well, why can guys have sex with a bunch of girls, but if I have sex with like one or two guys, it's a problem. Okay, let's say I'm in a relationship with all of you guys. Not at the same time, obviously. Maybe different parts of our lives, right? But but pretend that we're in a relationship, right? I know you guys hate me or whatever, but just pretend, okay? Just, right? So we're in a serious relationship. I might commit to one of you guys. I'm going to like, you know, you got, the engagement is coming. Obviously, you're waiting for me to, you know, propose to you all this other shit. We're going to get married, right? And then... I do. Exactly. <laughs> Aww. Right? Aww. There you go. Yeah. Our kids would be Jewish though, so I wouldn't do it. So uh, <laughs> I win. <laughs> but but real talk. Let's say you you guys are anticipating me proposing to you, then you find out, you know, maybe I, I propose to you, and then you find out a month later, right, when we're fiancés, that I'm paying another woman's rent and I'm taking care of her and I'm supporting her child possibly. How would you feel about that? Excuse me. <laughs> no. Okay, mm -hmm. Sarah. I think that's good. You think that's good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Wait, repeat it one more time. Okay. Uh, what part did you miss? <laughs> the whole. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, Stupid. Let's continue on with the show. <laughs> Never mind. The, the, my point, is, I don't even, yeah, it's fine. Uh, what, the, um, where were we? Did we, right. Super Chats? Yep, super Chats and then we'll um, closing thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the panels. But there are no truths or lies, just opinions that's bigger than just relationships. The women, that women needs serious help sounds like something a murderer would say, in my opinion. LOL. Okay, uh, fresh. Yeah, what's going yeah on? I don't know what's Tricky going journey. on. Yeah, twenty bucks says it's called a double standard, sweetheart. You would still want me to take a bullet for you if you were on a date and about to get jumped. Stop being disingenuous, please. Okay, James Burnett, twenty bucks says, I'm taller. They get better hugs. I think ultimately most of your inferior complex around the rules is simply because you want what you cannot have. Okay, Mr. T, twenty bucks says even the most eight out of ten uh, attractive guys have a batting average of 10 to 20 percent a four tenth could sleep with a four to ten could, could sleep with a, a four plus out of ten could sleep with a plus ten guys easy, easy. hard mode is impressive, impressive not equal yeah basically like a girl that's like average looking will have access to the top tier guys whereas like a guy that's top tier is still gonna you know have to work to get an average girl yep. okay patrick hargity 20 dollars. i read that neanderthals were equal the women hunted but in order for humans to have bigger brains we evolved weaker women with wider hips who stayed home and raised helpless oh, babies Unequal was an evolutionary advantage. Okay. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, yo, these things out here cooking, bro. Okay. Uh, Days Renat Israel thinks she's a unicorn, LOL. Okay. She's just very politically correct, guys. Yeah. Uh, CK20 yards. No two things are different and <laughs> that equal. That boy James loves you, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, James Burnett, here's 20 bucks for Israel to go see Kevin Samuels before she comes to Cat Lady. <laughs> oh, it's great. Great. No, it's great. Great. I'm not going to be a Cat Lady. I'm going to have uh, Myron's babies. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Sarah, what are you going to say about that? Oh, nigga. <laughs> no, no, bro. What is okay. going on? It's okay. You yeah. can come too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, right oh, there. Oh, The definition of equal is being the same in equality, size, degree, or value. The definition of equality is a state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunities. Okay. Okay. Well said. Oh, thank you. Okay, man. A lot of smart niggas tonight. <laughs> For real. You, yeah, you guys are a little more advanced for the panel today. Um, okay. Holy um, smokes. Okay. Oh, twenty dollars. I work 50, 60 hours a week to make my six-figure income. The last thing I want to come home to is a masculine, independent woman that is another battle in head. See, that's what I said. <laughs> Cook it clean. Can I ask? Can I ask a question? Sure, sure, sure. All men really want. Please. Why are men so intimidated by the idea of coming home to a, a independent woman? <laughs> We're not intimidated. It's I a headache. I think that an independent woman, like independence, is an attractive quality. No. How would you define independence? <laughs> um. 
I mean, in simple terms, a woman who doesn't need a man, but wants a man and okay. wants to be a, also, I mean, I can provide in, in my own ways and the man will provide in his own ways. However, that dynamic works, it'll work. Okay. <laughs> so you said a woman who doesn't need a man, but wants a man. Yeah. So Trust like, me, what do you mean by like, I'm trying to understand what do you mean by not, not? I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm not a child. I don't, I don't need a parent. You know, I want to be in a partnership. I want somebody who will, if if I'm younger than him, for example, I want him to strive to to raise me to his level. Just like I feel like like a, a top tier men are are drawn to people who they want to be their peers eventually. They like lifting people up, and I think that in a relationship it should be the same. Well, I think for me, um, I think you're viewing it the like as a woman. I think it's hard to view it as a man. <laughs> I think like I think it's a reality thing because there's certain things that you value that men wouldn't value. So, for example. If you let's say you made two hundred thousand dollars a year, right, and your man made fifty thousand dollars a year, you would eventually want him to get there. Is that fair to say, ladies? Yeah. Absolutely. Or, and and if he was lazy and he didn't want to get there, he wanted to stay at fifty thousand. Would that be a turnoff if he didn't want to get better? Yeah. It's not about laziness. Like, for, here's another example. If I wanted to study something uh -huh. and I knew that I wouldn't be able to work for the next eight years, medical school, for example. Uh -huh then uh, if if my man is willing to support me i want him to eventually be happy with my success yeah so let me let me let me finish my example that, and i want to answer your question so the point is is that you guys want a man to get on your level so guys if a woman was making fifty thousand dollars and you're making two hundred thousand do you want it to make two hundred thousand is that a priority for you guys no not no. a priority so you see guys they're not they don't view it that way mm -hmm. they like you gotta you gotta think about it men are conditioned to protect and provide for thousands of years. So there is the men are not looking for a teammate who can do what they do. You know, like it's like, like the best way I can break it but down. It's is not about doing. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, you, I apologize. But it's not about doing what they do. It's about doing me and being supported and. Yeah. And so here's supported a, here's, emotionally. And here's a problem. A man with options can choose. And unfortunately, you're the the, the worst option. No, no disrespect. No disrespect, because <gasps> here's because here's the reality. There's two guys, right? Mm -hmm. There's a guy that makes five hundred thousand. All all things are equal. They're both handsome. They're both tall. They're both successful in their own sense, right? One is a successful teacher making fifty thousand. One is a successful doctor making five hundred thousand. Which one is more attractive? I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry. I blinked out a second ago. Okay, cool. So <laughs> there's two there's there's well two guys and Stupid. everything is equal. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> one of them makes one of them makes fifty thousand. Uh -huh. One of them makes five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Which one is more attractive? Everything is equal. It's okay to say the truth. I know. <laughs> it's okay. I to say find... the truth, right? <laughs> Listen, uh, listen. The feminism in her won't allow it. No, 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 no. I'll answer honestly. She's talking. I want an equal partner. She's I'm talking. just as uh, mesmerized by fancy, shiny things as any other person is. I find that sometimes men who have a lot no, 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 come entitled. No, listen, no, listen, no, no, listen. No, no, I just said no. everything equal. was equal. Okay, then, then yeah, for sure the man be who has more because would be better. Because you value that more. So what you got to understand is women who think independence, you like that in men. Yeah. A man being independent, a man not needing you, a man to be able to take care of his stuff on his own. That's what you value in men. Men don't men don't want that in women. For because the reality of the matter is when a woman is really turned on by a man, when a woman is really in love with a man, when she really respects him, she becomes utterly dependent upon him because she does not want him to leave. So here's what I don't like. My my biggest fear is to lose my independence and to rely on somebody else. And know where that comes from? Where does that come from? Um, I I don't know. I mean, I mean, I've been I've been independent since I was eighteen, and I think it's a very important thing to. I know, me. but where does where does that fear come from? I I don't know. I don't want to rely on anyone. I I I wasn't brought up to rely on anyone, and I don't think exactly I that came. So what happened in childhood? Either somebody, either your experience showed you, or somebody communicated that to you, because you're you're talking about I have a fear. You can't live your life according to fear. Imagine me saying, I have a fear of crashing on a plane. I can never get on a plane. Damn. So your whole relationship movement is based upon a fear. That's unhealthy. And so what I've noticed is a lot of women, when they move in a relationship, it's based out of fear. You can't live your life based upon fear. I think it's unhealthy to put yourself in situations where you could potentially be left with nothing. But, but that's And that's the mindset. That's the fear. You see where you see how you're living your life? You're living your life worst case scenario thinking. Yeah. Imagine me saying, 
I don't want to start a business because if I open a business, I can lose all my money because that's a risk of starting a business. You can put all your time, energy, effort and money and resources into a business and lose it all. So what happens is a lot of women have seen either from divorces in their family, either from their mom whining, and complaining, or they seen a woman being in an unhealthy situation. And now their fear is the worst case possible so scenario. So here's another worst case possible scenario. But here's a, but you do not see how living like that is a problem. I do understand. I completely agree. But I do think that there's there's a place for responsibility. And women in relationships, because there is a power dynamic, oftentimes can be put in situations where they can't get out. So here's a problem. You said oftentimes that is your personal experience. It's not my personal experience. It's I mean, I all of my relationships have ended amicably and I respect all of my exes. I've never been abused. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I've never had any like negative situation like that where I relied on someone. Never. So let me tell you why this is your personal experience, because when it comes to divorce, if you, you can look it up right now, we have all the data. Women divorce men at higher rates than men divorce women. 70 to 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women. We have Google right now. We can go ahead and pull it up. Mm -hmm. So the reality of women being left by men is a misnomer. It is it is feminine. I'm mythology. not talking about I'm not, I, my, my concern is not being left by a man. My concern is jumping head on into a relationship where I'm feeling like I'm being supported and helped eventually losing my independence because I'm relying on him. I but, don't need to work. If but what does, but what does that mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. Wait, I lost my train of thought. What did you say a second ago? What I said is that <laughs> your <laughs> women are not loving men. Your, your fear, you literally said the fear. Oh, okay. I remember what I was talking about. Okay. My fear isn't that I won't be able to, to, um, my fear isn't that my man will leave me. My fear is that I won't be able to leave because I'll be put in a situation where I can't leave. Okay. So that fear is based upon a worst case scenario. You're, you're living your life on a worst case scenario. If you take that energy into business, you'll never be successful. But if you tell but me, relationships... let me, let me, let me finish. If you take that energy into finances, you never have any money. If you take that energy into friendship, you'll never have any friends. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that if you're living your life based upon a scenario that a fearful thing can happen, that's on you. But the wise thing to be is to be like, okay, that's a possibility. So how can I, as a woman, find the right kind of man who will support me and help me not make that happen? There's no way possible you're going to find a guy where 100% of the time he will never do anything wrong. So life is a risk. Go ahead. Thank you so much. Um, number one, I do think that being a woman in the world, you do have to live not in fear. Maybe fear is the wrong word to use, but you do have to be very, very conscious and cautious of, of all the dangers around you. And relationships can turn dangerous at a certain point. That's, the, that's number one. I'm not saying I'm living out of fear. Not at all. Every relationship what, that I've been in. What does that mean, though? You just said relationships can turn dangerous at a certain point. You no know one's very fascinating about this. What you just shared. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by dangerous? You mean domestic violence? Also. Okay, so let's talk about domestic violence. You know what's fascinating? Mm -hmm. Do you know domestic violence and lesbian couples are the highest of all couples? I, I mean, I'm not. I whether it's lesbians or straights or anything, it it doesn't matter. Yeah, Being so, in a relationship where you're relying 100 percent, where you're codependent is unhealthy in my opinion codependent respectfully codependent see this is what happens when you create straw mans when you make an extreme so on one end of the extreme is codependency where i have nothing without you another end of the extreme is where you're probably at independency i am without you but the healthy medium is interdependency is that i could exist without you but i not only want you but i need you so can i say let me finish because I i'll be honest with you right now the energy that you're on is masculine energy. Oh God, no. No, why? Because no, no, no. no. you're, you're comfortable. <laughs> and this is the problem. You're comfortable with having to usurp your way. So a lot of times there's no, when, when, when it is a relationship, when women say they want equality, there's no equality. There's no two kings in one castle. There's no, there's no two presidents in one country. There's no two CEOs of one company. There's always a leader and somebody submits to your leadership. Mm -hmm. You're you want to be in charge. I don't. I absolutely don't. I will say my dating style. I love a man who will who will support me, lift but me up, help me. But at the same time, I'm not going to relinquish all of my power. I understand it, but what I'm saying is that what you what you're communicating is a is an idea which you feel like you represent. But I'm telling you right now, from even communicating with mm -hmm. you from this conversation, talk to hundreds of women. The energy that you have is very masculine energy. Oh my god! You can say all that you want, but the idea is you want somebody to join your team. 
You want somebody to join your program. You want someone to follow. I want to join you. someone's team just the same. I think. I but think that's not how. It, but that's not how it works. That's not how it works. When two companies merge, one company joins one company. When two kingdoms merge, one co- one king joins one kingdom. And that's fine. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to put my uh, personal well being in jeopardy. But that. But you're. Which is that, healthy. That's I an think extreme. it's healthy. That's, Why is it an extreme? To but care, you're, to, you're, you're to saying, care about yourself. No, you're. You see, you're making an extreme argument. You're saying that I'm putting my personal well being in jeopardy. You're not. A lot of women who are in happy, healthy relationships, they're not putting their personal well being in jeopardy by being with a masculine man and submitting to them happily. They're actually putting their personal well being at the forefront of their life, and they're benefiting from it from that masculine man's lead. But in your situation, let me tell you what's going to happen. Unfortunately, you're going to have to find a feminine man who's going to have to follow you, who's going to have to be led by. And you know what happens? Of course, you don't want that because no women does. But the, the number one problem is, though you don't want that, the man that you want won't want you. And now honest, you have, I've now never you have had any of these issues in any relationship in my life. OK, then why are you so single right now? What? Well, I didn't say Ooh. I'm single. <laughs> OK, so you're not single. I mean, I, I'm, I'm seeing a person in my so life. So you're single. <laughs> I don't. I, don't, I really running? don't want to share personal details of my life, but I am. I am in you're a saying, very good they, place right see, now. Let me be honest with you. You're doing yeah. what women try, uh, to unfortunately, do when they're in a social setting. You're using you're the generalizing, in, but go ahead. Well, this is just common commonality ahead, between ahead, men and women. Ahead. What you're doing is you're using the English language to shape reality instead of to express reality. You see that you don't want people to look down upon you for being single. I'm not shaming you for being single. So therefore, First you, of all, let me finish. So therefore, you're trying to share, well, I'm not single. I may be single. Da, 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 da. You're single. So moving forward in this conversation, use English to express reality. And the reality of the matter is, yes, you are single. That's the truth. Okay, can I ask something? Go ahead. I, I keep losing my train of thought. You're confused. Because you're because you're talking at me and then you keep um you keep telling me not to interrupt and then my train of thought like loses me. So I do apologize. But why is it so important for people to strive to be in a relationship? My priority at the moment of course is, it is, but let me just say, you you preach this to men as well. You say, men, if you want a high value man, work on yourself, be mm-hmm. better yourself. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying my my job right now in life mm-hmm. is to work on myself, become a better version of myself. I love it. And eventually, hopefully, mm-hmm. I'll be able to be with a person who will deserve that. I love it. That's all. So, so my question to you, what are what are three things that you're working on today that's going to make you desirable mm-hmm. to the high value man that you want? What are those three things that you're working on today? Social circles. I think that networking is very important. Okay. Another thing is I hope that I will be able to be successful in my life. Mm-hmm. And um, and and I mean it's pretty shallow, but also I think that I think that looks are important, and I take care of myself. Cool. So out of those three things that you mentioned, you said social circle success and looks. The only thing that really re- relevant to a high value man is going to be the looks. So the unfortunate reality is that a lot of women such as yourself, they say, I'm working on myself to be more desirable to a man. But the things that you're working on, a man does not want. Mm-hmm. Imagine a man saying, okay, I'm working on myself to be more desirable to women. And you know what I'm doing? I'm learning how to wear fluorescent dresses. Is he, is he doing something that will make him I mean, more desirable probably, to women? There's probably a woman out there. Who's yeah, there, see, that. it's easy to make that argument. But oh. uh, let's be realistic. Is he doing something that's making him more desirable to top tier women? Probably not. P- more, yes. And by the way, I'm not disagreeing with you on most of your points. I know. Of course yeah. not. I know. So <laughs> the re- I just want to make that a point. Like I'm, we, we understand. We understand. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry about the comments. Just you and me talking right now. That's fine. I'm not looking at so, it. The point I'm trying to make is that when women say I'm working on myself, mm-hmm. a lot of times they're not working on themselves in a way that's going to make them more desirable to, to other men. So to the point of, yes, our podcast, we're telling men to do things that tangibly, same as fresh and fit. Mm-hmm. We're telling men to do things tangibly that make them more desirable to women. But unfortunately, what you're working on and what a lot of women work on are things that will not make you attractive to men. Okay, so I will say, like, I don't think that my end goal is to be attractive to men. My end goal is to work on myself so that I have a higher value as a person in, in my life. I'm happier. All right, niggas, like the video right now. All right. You want to know what my fear is? My fear is that you guys are going to need to watch this shit and not like it. We got 4,300 of you niggas in here watching this pointless argument. And like the fuck? <laughs> yo, real talk. Yo, real talk. Shut the channel. Shut the channel. Underwear. You need to watch this shit.
Lord. You bitch ass niggas, it's like not. the video. Fisher Bay gonna find you, kidnap you, nigga. Yes, yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, 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 bitch. Okay, sorry, Hockey. Oh, All right, I, I want y'all to write a list of what's wrong with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need a list of that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need a What is going on? Yo, yo. <laughs> what is this podcast? What is the world? What is the world? No one day podcast in the world. Yeah, you guys want to see more pointless arguments like this? Tune in later. All right, you can watch us argue with tricks. But uh, uh, anyway, yeah. like the video, niggas. Look at the video, niggas. The boy. No, no, no. The yeah. in, 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 in closing, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what is going on right now. Yeah, no, I, I think yeah, that. Crazy. What I, what I really hope for all women, not just yourself, is that. You have to be honest about what you want, right? And if you're honest about wanting marriage and family, do you want marriage and family? At this point in my life, I don't. Okay, cool. So do you want marriage and family? Same answer. You don't? Do you want marriage? Do you do I'm you eventually want eventually? Yeah. Yes. What? Do you eventually want marriage and family? <laughs> Sorry. Do you eventually want marriage and family? Of course. Do you eventually want marriage and family? Yes, I have the career now. Okay. Do you eventually want marriage and family? Yeah. So, oh. do you eventually want marriage and family? It's hard for me to imagine that at this point in my life. Yes or no? <sighs> I'm so sorry, but marriage may be family at this point. No. Okay, so here's the reality. If you don't want it, then how, is this how are you relevant to the conversation? Because so high value men don't want you. Because because they want, they want marriage and family. But that's a paradox. Because you guys say, oftentimes you guys say, women, your your number one like goal in life is to be married. But I don't think that you hold men to the same standard. You guys say men... They don't really need to settle down. They can have their own circle of, of ladies that they kind of juggle. I mean, I don't know if this is what you guys say, but I'm just saying from um, the last podcast that I was on. But um, so I feel I'll like... I'll clarify I, that after yeah, she makes her point. Yeah, go ahead. But I do feel like um, you, you guys are saying this is the only thing that's going to give you meaning and value in your life. And I do know there's a lot of studies that do support that women are happier in marriages. But if we don't have the opportunity or the choice to do other things, we're not going to want to be in marriage. Yeah, but but w what I'm saying is that the kind if you if the kind of man that you want, the highly uh, high value, highly desirable man, whatever you want to call it, you want him, right? You want to be married. You, you may not want a family by him. Yeah, you yeah, wanna, no, 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 absolutely. You I want to be with somebody who is. Yes. Who, to me, is amazing. So the reality of the matter is, you have to make that a priority in your life. And what, hap what happens for so too many women is that in your 20s, you will sacrifice all the things that make you desirable to that man, and you end up becoming a man. You end up, you end up getting all these masculine skills. That's, that's a lot of shade to the male, the male uh, population. There's no shade to male population. If you guys are taking on masculine traits, then that's only hurting you. First of all, I, I mean, what do you mean by masculine traits? Because I think the traits that I think are the most prominent with me our creativity, you know, innovation or what, whatnot. Those are not necessarily masculine traits. That's not male or uh, in, in, in a, so, in a social dynamic. You are a very assertive individual and a very dominant individual. But that's just my personality. It's not something it's not like I can change. No, that but here's the problem. That, and there, I wouldn't want to. If there was a guy whose personality was naturally more passive, na naturally more submissive, for a lot of women, that wouldn't be attractive. So just because it's the way you are doesn't doesn't negate the fact that nobody wants it. I think I should always better myself, but I don't think that I should change myself to please a, a man. So you don't have to. You're right. You don't have to change yourself to please a man. But what you got to realize is if you don't possess what the man wants, you can't get mad at the man. But there's a lot of different types of men out there. But that's a, but the problem is do you want all the types of men. You literally you literally said you want this top of the line ca caliber of man. So if you wanted a different type, if you wanted a 50-50 egalitarian, effeminate man, I don't want more that. Exactly. That's the problem. You want a more masculine, assertive, I, ambitious. But I haven't had any Hold on. You said earlier that you want a partnership, though, but I wasn't listening. So, I, so no, no, no. I think a partnership means that somebody will support you and help you in whatever goals you have. And, and the problem is that you want, let me tell you the fundamental thing. The type of man that you want has options. He can choose Israel. India, Egypt. Can I say I wouldn't want a man who didn't choose me Listen, out of a few? Uh, beautiful. He can he has options. The challenge is what you are bringing to the table, what you want. The other girls are not going to fight him for. You want him to support and join your team as well. These other two girls, India and Egypt, say I will just join this team. I'm not trying to do all those. 
They have the advantage over you. You are combative. Mm -hmm. You are combative. Oh, when, no. when talking to you, we're going to have to argue. With those girls, you don't have to argue. So the challenge is going to be, why would he choose but them wouldn't, over wouldn't you? Wouldn't a man get bored by oh. a woman who doesn't have any opinion or that's, care at all? That, okay. So uh, okay. Uh, this is well, the last thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead. And, and that's the fundamental problem. So many women want to tell men what they like. Wouldn't yeah. a man not like that? Wouldn't a man? No, we're not you. Women keep on living in a world where they think they're men. The way I feel about men is the way men feel about women. No. And so the unfortunate reality is that is not true. And if you keep on viewing men the way you view, sorry, if you keep on viewing the way men view women, the way you view men, you will keep on experiencing the same negative results over and over again. No. To answer your question, no, they will not get bored. It's actually peaceful because and I promise this last thing. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. One of the one of the verses in Proverbs that stands out to me is that was what um, Solomon said. He said, "It is better to live in a corner of a housetop than in a lovely home with a quarrelsome woman." And in all due yeah, respect, yep. in all due respect, you have quarrelsome tendencies. Oh my god! And so the reality of the matter is, men would rather be, men want peace. Mm -hmm. And so the, your personality type, unfortunately, is not desirable. I'm will sorry. Be single forever, and no, that's okay. You can change. Or you can get a feminine man. I don't want to change. I'll be honest yeah, with you. Get that's a feminine fine. Man. That's fine. Yeah, get a feminine man. If, He'll love you. He, you can be his boss. You can be his mom. You can change his diapers. You can pay his bills. You can get. <laughs> you love being with you. <laughs> they gonna be good. I will say this. I will say this, ladies. I will say this. I will say this. This well, is four half fees, five Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, we got 4,593 4, people in the Holy chat. Holy shit. Yo, new new title for the show, Hafiz yeah. versus Israel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Uh, uh, that was a fantastic conversation. Yeah, and was, the thing is, even though, um, you know, there's obviously a difference in opinion, mm. this is a conversation that needs to be had because I feel yeah. that a lot of women feel that attraction is symmetrical when it is not, ladies. I mean... Uh, I don't know if some of you guys were half asleep. Some of you guys were listening. <laughs> I don't know. But the right, well, we got the viewers in here. Yeah, Mary. <laughs> so um, with that said, we're going to make things a little bit more spicy. Yeah. So, Fresh, go ahead and ask your perverted questions. It's okay. that time. Let's do it. So real <laughs> quick, guys, before we get to the segment, please like the video. You just yeah, like the here. video, bro. Something to the channel. Almost 70K. Let's go. Real also, talk. Because, yo, uh, me also, and Fresh, when we had these ninja masks on, yeah. Earlier, walking around, we got the cops calling us three times. Yeah. You see how black this nigga is, bro? <laughs> Look, it's out, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, I'm at Robbie at night. Yeah. But so, also as well, follow the roommates as well on uh, YouTube, YouTube, on Instagram the as well. The roommates, guys. Roommates yes. HTX on Instagram and then yes. roommates uh, on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. The roommates, guys. And then what's your Instagram real quick? Meet your Brody, M-E-I-R-A-B-R-O-D-Y. Say it, Was What's your what, Instagram? You'd see that, Excel. Y-I-T-S-I-T-A-X-O. Yeah. What's your Instagram? Chelsea Boards. AK, the, AK, the girl that bangs NFL guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hope he's not watching. No, oh, there you go. Yeah, well, hold on, you gotta talk in the mic though, so they can hear you. C H E L S E A B O A R T S. Oh cool. yeah, pretend that's his penis. Okay, I'm, sorry, I'm not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> so English is her second language, guys. Oh, what's okay. your Instagram? She's okay. from Spain. Girl X R I S T I I Earl O. X S A. Yeah, she calls me. Guys, all the Instagrams are going to be in a thing. Okay, good. I'm trying. I'm trying. And yours? Uh, Sophia Elizabeth 14. Sophia with a PH. All right, we're going to get spicy here. Okay, so guys, girls, I'll be ready for this. And then you guys can ask us a perverted question next. All the chats, we see y'all. Yeah, we see you guys in the super chat. Don't worry. So, first question is, ladies, right? Here we go. Would you rather have sex with your ex? Or a guy that has all the qualities that you want for the first time. Oh shit. <laughs> so I mean for example, to go even further, your ex, you're comfortable with, you know where he's at, you could hit him up at any time. This guy you just met for the first time, one night stand, would you do it? Your ex or this or this new guy? Oh yeah, this week. And then tell me why. So this new guy, is it just a one night stand? You never get to see him again, but then after meeting him, you know he's everything you want. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> this new guy, right, is your ideal guy, and it could lead to something else. But for right now, it's a one night stand. What'd you do? Could then, lead to yeah, something I'm else. not going back to my ex. Okay, okay, okay. All right, fair enough. Okay, right. cool, He's cool. an ex for a reason. Sarah, Sarah, I'm gonna go back to my ex. Oh man, why? Stupid. Okay. <laughs> No, 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 no. But why did she look at you like that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. A lot of things going on right now. I don't know what you guys are talking about. 
flashing a lot of attention right now, brother. Okay, all okay. I gotta say is, uh, See, he, he, he's yeah. Goku. I need you, brother. Teleportation. Hey, no, I got you. I got <laughs> you. Okay, man. Why, sir? Why? I know I'm not. I'm not gonna be disappointed. Okay. Okay. Maybe I have my ideal guy. Like, wow, he have everything. But. But then. If he doesn't have the the stuff inside that you were thinking, oh, the, the that guy is gonna have this, this, and then he doesn't have that, like you know, your ex have that, and you're gonna you're not gonna be disappointed. He don't. He don't then do every time you're gonna go with another guy that you just know who who, who is outside. Okay. And then when you're gonna know him inside, maybe it's he's not, not your guy. You know. Okay. No. Can you say that in Spanish for all the Spanish perverts? <laughs> <in there? laughs> say it in Spanish real quick. Everything. Yeah, not everything, but like a summary in Spanish. Que prefiero estar con mi novio porque sé que si voy con otro chico que yo lo conozco por dentro, acabo de desesperado. I see why. I understand. I understand why you would do it. I know that people want to hear it. Yeah, I know that people want to hear it, bro. I know that people want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what was going on. No, no, but a lot of girls prefer to go out to the ex because it's comfortable. It's what they know. And they don't want to risk going with a new guy because it might be trash. So I get what you're saying. Okay. Chelsea? Um, for me, I would definitely try something new just because okay. I don't like to waste my time and mm -hmm. my ex, I'm obviously not gonna, there's going to be nothing going forward. So at least if you try something new, there might be potential for something to happen. Okay. It might still suck though. But. <laughs> okay. You that's take a risk, right? Okay. Call Cuba. Okay. So I just recently got out of a relationship. Oh shit. I oh. know I'm not going back to my ex for anything in the world. So I would rather try something new for sure. Mm. Even though it might not work out, whatever. Okay. Least, guys in okay. the chat, shoot your shot. <laughs> if you're going to, if you're going to be a drug dealer, make sure you're selling kilos. You got to upgrade from what she was before. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I probably, I mean, depending on what X, probably an X, just because comfort and familiarity. Yeah, familiarity. Yeah. Okay. And he he's knows, a he partner, knows. right? So see, so see, <laughs> I said that to say, right? For example, a lot of guys get butt hurt when a girl turns them down, but it could be because, for example, they say, you know what, he's cool and all, but I'd rather go back to like, for example, right? Why the girls flake? It can be many reasons, right? Yes. Either they didn't do the makeup, they fell asleep, is there a different guy? But more often, an NFL player. More, more often, more often than not, right? It's because you might have been a good option, but the ex hit them up, and I feel like that happens a lot. And guys take it personally, but they shouldn't take it personally. So that's not my point. All right, example. ladies, where's the craziest place you ever had sex? Boom. We'll start with Colorado. Is that mean you got? I'm just fucking. With you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. And then you guys can ask us a crazy question next. I promise. A full movie theater. Oh shit! A movie theater? What movie? Like the full? It was Transformers. Oh, that movie <laughs> trash. That movie yeah, trash. Yeah, I, I can understand okay, that I one. I get why you guys got hot and heavy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Speaking uh, of which, so like, you, was it? Do it. Just. I've been waiting to use that sound effect for a while. Shia LaBeouf is Shia trash, LaBeouf. though. He's a yeah, terrible yeah. character. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait. I had to ask. Was it in the back I like row? Holes. Holes yeah. Good. There. There was like full from the all the very like the second to last row up to the very. Front. You guys fucked on a debut night. I don't think it was debut, but definitely opening weekend. Was it Mad Night? Oh, oh shit! Oh, yo, you guys, shit. yo, you lit, man, oh, yeah. <laughs> bro. Yeah, that's actually that okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. 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 action scene. <laughs> what about uh, what about you, Miss Spain? I see it in the last post. Hey, 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 hey! Don't say that. Wow. Just say it again. Just say it again. We got new perverts in here. Come on. <laughs> and then say it in Spanish. After the after English. Por favor. Was in a plane. In an avión. Oh shit! It was what? A plane where? Avion. Avion? Yeah. Avion is playing Spanish. Avion is playing Spanish. It's playing Spanish. So basically, she's, she's oh. a part of the High Mile Club. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. 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 My, my, my High Club. Okay. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. All right, fair enough. Okay. Chelsea, what about you? So mine wasn't like any place that was weird, but um, we were. Did you give fellatio during we that session? It live you did you recorded live oh so yeah. it's on the internet right now so all right can you pretend that no. we're recording live and that's a penis <laughs> and you talk into it no okay <laughs> all right uh okay. this guy's good <laughs> so, so that's that's it okay so but you record so your hottest thing was you, you did it live you did like a live like people watched though yeah, right on Instagram. No. On Instagram? Oh, say, hey, hey, God, would be banned. Delete it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it, like, what was it? Like on Pornhub say. or something? Yeah, it was like a weird thing we had. No, it wasn't on Pornhub. It wasn't something that you could view more than once. This is so strange that I'm talking about this out loud. I hope my Yeah, hey, YOLO, man. Good. It's okay. Yeah. Um, But no, we were just into like kind of being watched. So we went to one of those sites where like people can watch. Okay. And we did it live. Was it a threesome? No. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Was it with the NFL player? 
No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Almost made a joke. It's been inappropriate. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> it's been inappropriate. Yeah. I, no. No. Go ahead, man. Nah. Nah. It's too late. Nah. It's sure? It's lost the juice. Trust okay. me. Okay. okay. Yeah, fair enough. Miss Cuba. Cuba. I know she got a couple places. Yeah. <laughs> don't play the trap house either. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a couple, okay. couple of places. All right. Yeah. Top two. The on the top of my head. Um, okay. The dressing room. I don't think that. You talking about in the mall or something? Target. Yeah, in the Walmart. Mall. In the Target. Target. Was in the it, mall. Was it the one in Hialeah? <laughs> No, What's that mall? Mall. What store? Okay. Mall. Okay, okay. What store? I don't remember what store. It was. Probably like <laughs> Macy's or something. Oh, you ain't talking shit, Miss Live Sex. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was quick. I don't even remember. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Yeah. It was quick. Okay. Bang! 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 That brother store. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is, okay. Is there oh, and and. Okay. Uh, in like a jungle, like a jungle. The mighty like jungle. jungle. We start what? in a park. It was like a hiking trail. Wait, wait, up. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shreggy. Hey, uh, so you you had some? Did he get some Tomb Raider pussy? He <laughs> 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 Laura Croft. Oh shit! <laughs> like yo, that's like the beginning of like you know what I'm saying. You hear this sound effect. Oh you know what I'm saying? God. It is. You already know it's gonna be one of them weird porn videos. It's like jungles and shit like that. Monkeys <laughs> running around. You see the <laughs> <orangutan>. Yo, <laughs> Tarzan X-rated. You know what I'm saying? You know she comes in with like. Were you wearing like a yeah, like camouflage? Hot. Were you wearing camouflage and shit? No, I, was, I wasn't wearing anything. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, before the porn scene, yeah, before, yeah. Before, yeah. That, before the sex, it's uh, like. No, it was in my gym clothes. Actually, I was working out. Okay. Um, you got worked. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Fair enough. Fair it enough. Is, enough. Is, Miss yeah. Israel. All right. Cool. And then uh, what about what about, what about you? Guys about. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I said this last time. I don't kiss and tell, and I'm really sorry. I know you guys are gonna hate me for it, and you're not gonna let me get away with it, but I, I really don't. Sorry, guys. Right. Wait, 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 wait. I huh? didn't understand nothing that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 <I'm sorry. laughs> are you actually like to me? Okay, so you so you can't disclose it. Can you at least like tell us the the ge geographic location? Was it in Israel? Your, it was in Israel. Okay. okay. Well, oh, okay. You know, I don't know, know why I was in a temple somewhere. Bro. <laughs> no, with, no, a no, 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 with a partner. With a partner. Not a man. Tell a partner. No. 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 I already know how that what thing went. You know. The, she walks into the temple. Dude walks in the shop. The, you know, whatever. What, what's a what's a Jewish uh, priest? What, what's his name? Uh, rabbi. A rabbi. Oh, hey. oh wait, no, no, stop. What? Oh, no, we, oh, we can't. Oh, no, we no, can't make the joke. No, 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 don't make the joke. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. YouTube. Yeah, 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 I'm confused. You're a fraud as a Muslim. I'm going to call you a fraud. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, okay. We have about uh, super, super chats. Super chats it's six, how many? Okay. Uh, the definition about? of equal. Uh, no, we read that one. We read that yeah, one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Israel. Yes, everyone. <laughs> they better roast I'm Israel. Ready, I can I'm already ready. feel oh, it. God. Are you ready? No, okay. but let's do it. Okay. Hey, Israel. Yes, everyone is unique in personality slash behavior, but the social blueprint for, blueprint that forms a man and woman dynamic is pretty straightforward. It may not be entirely black and white, but the lines are quite defined. That wasn't so bad. I yeah, agree. well, that wasn't okay. so bad. Yeah, Keep okay. seeing that here. Uh, America, pick a partner, dance, waltz, tango, rumba, cha-cha, cha -cha, swing, swing salsa. salsa. I'll <laughs> teach you how to enjoy some following a man, both physically and mentally. 33, 6 for 4, athletic game, de designer in Atlanta. Oh, Landon's and hitting that's Landon shot. Who, who's he shooting Thank shot you, at? Landon. In, a designer in ATL. Oh, okay. Shooting it at Myra? Yeah. Okay, bro. Be dance, atheist, man. man. And be a partner. Uh, Kelly, Kelly Papa, Papa Chucks with the big hundred dollar super chat. Damn, late to the live. My daughter glanced over uh, while Jid, while J away singing. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So oh. tell me what you want, what, what you really, really, really want. want. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kelly Papa yeah, Chucks. No, thank you, Kelly. That's the, the shut the fuck up part. Kuda Matata. So it's annoying women. Uh, Kuda, Kuda, what? Matella? Okay. A man with money will change a broke woman's life. A woman with money won't even look a broke man's way. Bam! 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 Well women, said. Bro, I always say it, man. Women don't build, they move in, man. Shout out to 21 Savage. 21, 21. 21, 21. <laughs> I work 56 hours a week to make my six figure income. The last thing I want, oh, we read this already. But basically, he doesn't want uh, a Myra to, when he comes home. Okay, MK47, $20. Miss Israel, when is the last time you told a woman to her face she's being toxic? And when is the last time you told a man that? Oh, shit. That's oh. a good question. 
So I had an ex from about four years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the answer is also him. I told him he was being toxic and also my best friend at the time who was flirting with him. I told both of them that they were being toxic. Wait, yeah. his wow. his friend was flirting with him. No, her so no, best no. Friend. My my, I was in a relationship with him for about two years, mm-hmm. and then my best friend at the time was flirting with him. Okay. So and there was a little back and forth there. there were okay. Some, mm. some pictures being sent. Oh. Um. So I told both of them at the time they were toxic, and I cut them out of my life. And eventually, I mean, now I'm on very good terms with the same girl because I think that um. I know I how that, what yeah. her sex story that, is. Yeah. She did a threesome with them. I knew it. There's <laughs> Brunette. But... And she would be much smarter if she did have his babies. Oh shit. What's okay, <laughs> James Brunette, I don't want a partner. I want to uh, I want to help me. I don't want your money. I want your cooperation. I don't want your brand. I want your body girl with that mouth do. Oh Good shit. Luck, James. Damn, nigga. Oh god okay. damn. Okay. No, James Richard, is Richard Lou, twenty dollars. Myra, you are almost there in your arguments. You should adopt a post structuralist philosophy to deconstruct their position you can yield on facts and still win the argument target rhetoric and know and how facts are presented that's constructive i appreciate i mean his last name is lou i ain't surprised all right nigga. <laughs> 20 dollars. <laughs> israel is uh, smart enough but she has an inferiority complex about her intelligence and femininity she tires to prove sh- she tries to prove she's more knowledgeable than she is humility is her savior i got you bro you don't have to be all that crazy about it basically stupid okay i got you <laughs> cool <laughs> <laughs> Kuda Matata, Australian 22.99. At least five dudes try to talk to your girl a day. That's 35 dudes a week. I'm talking 140 dudes a month, which is 1,680 dudes a year. If you think your girl turned down 1,680 dudes, you're a damn. <laughs> damn, dude. Damn, dude. He got a point. Facts, man. He got a point, though. A bronze scholar Johansson has daddy, daddy issues? Oh, shit. I think they're talking about you. No, Bronze Scarlett Johansson. Uh, oh, I bronze. Think that's okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. Israel. She needs therapy. Remind me of Scarlett Johansson. I oh, can see you. it no, now. I got a bunch of comments last that's time. That's crazy. Well. Nah, she okay, needs therapy before remember. she has baby Myron's. Uh, I don't right. know if that's going to happen anymore. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, James Burnett, $25. The simple fact is what you fear you ultimately get, Israel. I do not hate you. I simply want you as another tragic figure. I see you as a tra- another tragic figure in a long line of broken women who okay. never learned that men don't hate him. Damn, God damn, James Burnett. James, James, James is always out to Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going uh, to... Um, <laughs> yeah. This is what was, what was the other question? Okay, so last question, ladies, because we, yeah. we got to run. So. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Kinda, you, Happy you, says, well, yeah. he's awake now. Thanks to <laughs> But He wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> We fucked it up. <laughs> so, ladies. Oh, no. They're supposed to ask us a question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, Sorry, man. You got one question. Mari, go ahead. Ask us an invasive question, however you spicy, want. Spicy, non-spicy, uh, you yeah. name it. I'm, my, my brain is tired after all of this, so okay. I'll go last. Okay. If that's okay. All that. In, uh, in, in, Sophia, in you got a question? <laughs> Where's the craziest place you guys have had sex? Oh, oh shit. Oh, no shit. No okay. Shit. Who's first? Oh, yeah. I go and shoot in the back of my car. Okay. Yolo. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's a classic. Not crazy. That's classic. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm so Tomb Raider. <laughs> that's like, classic. Me being nice. I'm okay. being lazy. You know what I mean? I got chased by a bear while I was fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, me. Uh, yo, real talk on a bed, bro. I, I can't do it anywhere else, man. I'm tall, man. I'm tall. Yeah. I can't do it. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, Tomb Raider. I'll stretch you out. Yeah. For me. Wow. Uh, 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 I'll stretch you out. It's like, mm. <laughs> I'm surprised YouTube ain't gonna flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for me, uh, Not everybody know that, uh, brother. <laughs> Mommy Beach, lifeguard hut, two, two in the morning after a club. And funny part is, is that like I got caught. Yeah. But by, by the cops? Yeah, yeah. Me and he got caught got caught. But the funny story is. The cop watched my prank video on Rollstar and let me go. Wait, uh-huh. man. They, damn. Yeah, so so he was like, "Wait, fresh prank CEO?" I was like, "I know, I know, it sounds weird." But he was like, "You know, I seen your video on Rollstar." I'm like, "Thanks, man. You gonna let me go?" He's like, "Go, go ahead, man. Go ahead." <laughs> but no, real talk, bro. I was shocked. I was like, "What the fuck? We got off?" Because, dude, that's a crime, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, you could, you could, yeah. yeah. I would have been in jail. You could get put. You, you could be put on sex offender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You should have been. You should have named you Sandy Cheek CEO after that one. <laughs> God damn. Uh, outside of a club. Outside of a club. Yeah. No, okay. That's that's ratchet Jesus. as fuck. Our face, man. Boy. God damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We expected more. On the street. <laughs> yeah, man. On the street. Outside the nasty man, club. Just when you thought he was a he was a, he was a good dude, man. Boy. Now you know he's a regular <laughs> nigga now. Shut your chicks outside the club. Oh yeah, he hot. Hey, yo, girl. Listen, man. 
I ain't, I, I'm with my mom right now. You know what I'm saying? But I got a spot right here. Mercedes right here parked on the side. You want to do this, man? You want to do that? Come on, girl. You know, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. You got a condom? Nah, baby. I ain't got no condom. But you know what? Uh, it's okay. I'll pull out. I'm real good at it. I've done it a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like, uh, bro, I'm telling you, that's that's like the nigga speech. Like, yeah, but it's okay. I'm good at it, though, man. I tried out my baby mama. I, 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 90% success rate, man. I only got one kid. I think Fresh love, man. <laughs> Yo, Chris. Yo, oh, shit. Chris. Oh, Chris, you want to go out? Yo. Yo. What do you think we got going on? There we go. Is it that time? You about to cook him? Yo, you want to? No. Yo. Oh, Dr. Dre, you about to get it now. Yo. Chris. I know you're stuttering ass. Dr. Dre looking ass motherfucker ain't telling me shit about burning. But fresh, for example, though. Yo, so what? Chris, you need this, nigga. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, that's somebody check, Chris. Okay, I see Chris. what's going on now. That's somebody okay. check. What's up? You asked me for dating advice. Yeah, of course. Oh. All right, nigga. Because I'm curious. Oh. Nigga. Oh. I'm going to end it there. My drop. Oh. <laughs> Both you niggas is trash, bro. That's why you <laughs> can't have <laughs> niggas. It's already got fresh. Yo, man. So you can't have more than that, man. Come on, Chris. Because we got in the show. I'm just kidding. Yo, real talk. When these guys diss each other, bro, it takes like 10 minutes to make one joke. That brother going in. Niggas is lagging out here talking shit about each other, bro. Anyway, uh, oh, man. lagging. I'll give you that one. That was good. That's true. That's respect. Um, who who is next? Sorry. Oh, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Okay. Sorry. España. Okay, ahead. this is not a spicy question. Mm -hmm. All the? of you, they are like YouTube graduates and that stuff. What like what is the thing that motivates you and makes you like keep going and What's the, th the thing that motivated you, like, to to be having sex doing... with girls without a condom outside the club? Duh! <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Um, who's going first? Oh yeah, you go first, bro. Uh, with those terrible jokes, I hope you go first. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah, was I, I don't trash. know what I was doing. Was trash. But um, for me, you want an honest truth? I just want to wake up every day and bang nights and tens. That's it. Okay. All right. That's yeah, pretty honest. Well, well, that's pretty yeah, honest. Yeah. Cool. Let me go there. Shut the dog. Let me get more out of way. Not anybody. 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 Oh, that's good. Yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's, it's very similar. And I, and I have experienced a lot in the last four years. And I can't imagine what God can do in the last, in the next 40. So that would keep me going. Because like, how how much further? How bigger? You know, what more more life experience? How much can I grow character-wise? You know, so just being the man that God wants me to be and me putting the work in every day, that's what keeps me motivated. Damn, I feel bad, bro. We're here to put our dick in as many vaginas yeah. as we can, day in and day out. Yeah. If we die of STD, that's the real way to go out, baby. Bang, bang. How many you had in the room? Uh, bro. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> we want to be real, right? I, I, we want to be real. What, what's the real button there? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, where's my lawyer? Where's he at? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, good, just but kidding. no, I, I would say honestly uh, to to help people. Spain, like I, I'm checked out. Whatever. Uh, no, it's, it's to help help people out and you know um, have a lot of fornication. <laughs> okay. Chelsea. Uh, fornicate. It means uh, fornication means um, uh, helping people. Yeah. In life. In life. They're foreigners. It means sex. What? Uh, okay. Hey, 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 okay. I, was I, just came here. I just came here to ruin the show for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did, did you have a question? Did you? Did you have a question? Um, not yet. So, what's the dumbest lie you've ever told? Oh, oh shit. okay. That's okay. a good one. Your, your turn, bro. I went first last time. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's some stupid. Yeah. I, I, I can't. The du like the dumbest lie, dumbest or like worst. Like to a female that, yeah, that was just ridiculous. Maybe oh, yeah. she believed it or maybe not. But what's the dumbest one you ever told that you were like, if she does believe this, that's wild. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chris is a monster. That is fun. Goddamn. That's fucked up. 
<laughs> you know, I, I, you guys, if you guys see Chris, he looks like Dr. Right Dre, now, but you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Uh, I think for me, um, I, I think, I don't know how long ago it was, but saying I didn't have any options and she just believed me, then yeah, you're the only girl I'm talking to. Mm. That's, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that it. one before. Yeah. <laughs> they all say the same thing. <laughs> and it, it, y'all be believing that guy that shit too. And so y'all got to look in the mirror, goddamn it. All right. I, I would say the dumbest thing I, I've told a girl, actually, because I try to be actually very transparent, but okay. like I'm transparent to a point where it fucks me up. So I told girls before, like, yeah, I, I date multiple girls. It is what it is, you, you know. It is, and and like chicks have been like, oh, well, I'm not gonna deal with this, and then just like they leave. And like, so yeah, I've like definitely like talked my way out of some box from like being too transparent. Like, yeah, I talked to other girls. I'm like, oh my god, well, then they leave. Yeah, and that's how you know you're dealing with a guy that talks to a lot of girls when he says box. <laughs> <laughs> when a guy says box, he uh, definitely deals with women. <laughs> Fair enough. You feel Fair me? Fair enough. Here you go. Um, the the worst dumbest lie. lie. So yeah, what? worst the dumbest lie. Man, that's a good question. I think I, well, I have a problem by telling girls that they're they're special when they're not. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now I know how we fucked outside the club. <laughs> All right, girl, listen, I, I love your spirit. Got the car outside. You special, man. You special. I could do this with you raw. Let's do it. Let's do it this way. That's how he does it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm just like I got you, playing. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to figure out how he banged her in the car outside the club, bro. Whatever. But um, cool. Uh, okay. who was up next? Uh. Somebody. Somebody. Go. Oh, true. Damn it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It was the dumbest thing you said. So, if you guys know Tom Likas, there's some, something called the Hail Mary. Yeah. And like, oh, um, shit. basically. You really about to tell this story? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's okay, do so it. basically, right? I was with this chick and we were kind of like fizzling out. It wasn't working out. But she got pregnant. And then um, <laughs> I kind of told her like, yo, we can work this out. Don't worry about it. But we can't have kids right now. And then um, I did the Hail Mary. And now I'm here. No, tell them what the Hail Mary is, nigga. Tell them what the Hail Mary is. <laughs> <laughs> tell them what it is. Okay. Go all the way. Okay, okay. So the Hail Mary is the first example, right? Where like you tell the chick what she wants to hear and that you can have kids later on, make her get an abortion, you take her to Mac McDonald's, get a McGriddle and an orange juice, you sit her down, you tell her about life, and I, you started this happen, and you, you never see her again. Wait. That got really dark. That got really you couldn't give her a nicer a meal. No, no, but that's that's point of McGriddle. Really? That's a towel McGriddle. Yeah. Yeah. A towel yeah. 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 McGriddle. No, like, so no me, me sausage. It gotta no, be that. It gotta be bro. that. That specific. Wait, so yo, take her to have a steak at least after that. Like she oh. bled a lot after that abortion. Come on, she needs oh. some iron. That's oh, what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying she know from experience. How do you know all these details? I'm a nurse. Oh yeah. Oh nurse. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, iron, irony. Go. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> irony of no iron, right? <laughs> <laughs> we should have got her some spinach, man. No, no, God damn. A McGriddle. That's okay. funny. Um, okay. Uh, who, who else was uh, okay. who's left? Uh, Colorado, did you go? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Spain went. Oh, yeah. Cuba. What's, Cuba. What's, okay. Yeah, go ahead. What's the worst thing you guys have done to a girl? Oh, shit. Oh, I already said it. We all, yeah, we already know you. That was uh, the, <laughs> the lie, but the worst thing, like, Oh, no, that was it. Hail Mary. No, that was it. Really? I that was so. the worst thing? Yeah, that was it's horrible. pretty bad. What do you so. mean that, that was yeah, the worst that thing? Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 I'm not a judging man, but if I was. But I thought that was the worst lie. Uh, okay, the, the religious guy's got to go first. <laughs> the worst so thing. So I know how bad I can go. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would probably say just uh, didn't. Uh, nah, I would say, how can I say this? I fed her a false lie of myself and didn't meet expectations, basically. So, you know, basically sold myself to get what I want and then just leave after that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's you, probably the worst thing. You ghosted her. Like, well, not ghosted her, but it's like, hey, you know, like, I'll do these things for you. I'll be the man you want. Get what I want, then leave. Not really like ghost as in like. Come here. It kind of goes. I'm paying your bills, go. girl. I love you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do. It's yeah. And then after you bust that up, you're like, oh, damn, I, 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 I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. You're just like, actually, yeah, you know what? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, okay, that, I'll tell you the man. Bro. Have you? Going. No, 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 no. Guest of honor. I got, yeah, you the guest of honor, bro. Um, I think the worst thing I did was I invited a girl out that was really into me. <laughs> Wait, you invited a girl that what? 
I invited a girl out uh-huh. that was really into me. Okay, cool. Then she came, oh, shit. and her friend was more attractive. Oh, oh shit. That happens you, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Would you- With guys, too, though. So what? With guys, that yeah. happens a lot, yeah. too. So I... I was on out like I was in Atlanta and in Atlanta, like some girls don't care. So I try to like tell the friend like low key, like, hey, we have a problem here. <laughs> and she's like, What's the problem? I said, Your friend wants me, but I want you. Now what do we both do? Oh shit. Oh shit. So it's like a threesome now? You really think life yeah, is easy for guys. You're really optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you guys, sex is easy for you guys. Yeah. Instagram, like a date. It's easy. You just go to the. But they turned out fuck. to be like best friends from like elementary school, and then she oh, told shit. the girl and it broke her heart. She uh, had a friend in the parking yeah. lot. You say excuse me. Parking lot. Yeah, so that was that was pretty bad. Damn, she had, she had depression issues and suicide issues. Oh yeah. shit! Damn, yeah, son. Damn, yeah. I feel you. Cool. You cold, man. I know why you're religious. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga out here ending dreams and shit. <laughs> God damn, bro. Yeah, that, was, um, that was pretty bad. Uh, so, the, so, what's the question again? Worst thing you ever did. So, no, I need it from her exactly. Okay, cool. What, what is it? Worst thing you ever did to a girl. Fuck. Okay, I thought I could maneuver this one. <laughs> to a girl, right? Mm-hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Thing. I don't think that's that bad, but I like I got a lot of shit on TikTok for this. Like, if I bring a girl back to my place and she doesn't want to hook up, I'm like, all right, well, you gotta leave. And then I'll like call another girl in front of her. But apparently, like that's like a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they're like they're like uh, I, I don't think that's that bad of a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like not, you're not courteous, brother. Huh? You're not courteous. That is not yeah, courteous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because like it's because like they'll try to sit there and like kind of stay. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and kind of stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh yo, okay, you know what, man? I'm just gonna keep it stack. Basically, right? You bring a girl back to your place, you're trying to, you know, trying to get it in, whatever. And they're like, uh oh, like, okay, you know what? You know, you're entitled to your decision. Yeah. But you know what? I'm entitled to my decision too. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna I'm a call somebody else because she want to sit around and hang out like it's cool. So I got to kind of make her feel uncomfortable. Sometimes I've done it where it's like, you know, I'll fake it like, hey, hey, Katie, you coming by? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And I like, you know, like fake some bullshit. So I want her to leave because if she ain't going to smash, bro, you got to leave. Like, what the fuck? So, but when you say these things like, oh my God, you manipulated me. You're a jerk. Ba-da-da. Yo, uh, I mean, did you manipulate me out of these fucking drinks that I paid for tonight <laughs> and this food and everything else? Like, you know, like you, for three days. Yeah, that well, was your choice, though. Well, here we go. And it is my choice <laughs> to kick her out. <laughs> it's her choice to not have sex, but it is also my choice to find a girl that will. Damn, son. <laughs> anyway, but that's when she leaves satisfied, knowing she didn't do anything wrong. No, uh, with her respect still. <laughs> And her dignity. Do you think she leaves with her? Actually, n- not. Uh, and you feel like, oh damn, I just spent all this money on this girl, and she didn't give me. Well, shit. no, normally that doesn't happen, but like in this <laughs> situation, <laughs> <brother, laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that, that don't happen because I yeah, keep my yeah. dates very low. Yeah, some of them in his room. You know what I'm saying? But but uh, but like <laughs> I'm saying, like in general, I think a lot of women get away with finessing dudes financially, like on dates and everything else like that. And a lot of guys will sit there and take it, like, oh, it's okay, you can sleep over, it's okay, no big deal. Take her on three, four, five dates, don't get no box. And it's acceptable. And I'm, I look at it like, nah, man, like, fuck that. Like, like I'll tell you this. If a girl wants to hold out on box on a first date or whatever, that's cool. You know what? You pay for the dates until you smash me. How about that? And then we'll see how many dates we go on. <laughs> yeah, look, see, you're looking. Oh, yeah. No, man. Why should I? Yeah, uh-huh. You're the one working for it. I'm the one working for what? <laughs> for, oh, for the, oh for, the, for the sex. For whatever it is, for the girl. Okay. Um... See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> we go. If if you're if for, I would say I don't want to sound arrogant. As like as a normal guy, yeah. Then yeah, you got it. You got to go ahead and chase and all this other bullshit. Mm-hmm. Once you rise to a certain level and you've like developed yourself, whatever, okay. you don't tolerate non cooperation from women. You just don't because like you understand how women think and you understand that women are going to give it quickly to guys that they like and then they're going to play games with guys that they don't really like and they're going to leverage which we teach on this podcast all the time mm-hmm. don't let women leverage sexuality against you for some kind of compliance what do girls normally do this is a girl game take me out on three dates take me out here take me out there and then i'll think about if i'm going to give you box guy game is how fast can you get the box and my thing is this if a girl gives you sex quickly well number one you want to deal with a girl that you like in the first place that you want to see again and then number two um you don't want to like punish that girl for giving you sex quickly. But the key is you got to deal with girls that you like only. The problem is that a lot of guys will date girls. They don't really like like that to try to get quick sex. Then they ghost them. 
or the girl was just not. So I have a cool. question: If a girl oh, shit, gives it up quickly, yeah, will you hit them over again? Hell yeah, 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 sure. Like the next day, the day after. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the thing. You know what? I'm gonna give the girl some game right now. You guys can all send me nine ninety seven on PayPal <clears> tomorrow. <throat> okay, and that's and that's nine hundred ninety seven dollars because I'm gonna give you guys some great game right now. Okay, you ready? Okay. Guy game is being able to get girls. Girl game is being able to keep a guy post sex. One of the biggest mistakes that girls make is that they'll find a guy that they like and they'll sit there and they'll leverage the sex against them for multiple dates at a time. And when that guy finally fucks you, especially if you're not able to add some kind of value, he's going to leave you, right? Every girl's been there. They've been ghosted before by a guy that they liked and they wonder why, why, why? A big reason why is number one, he might not like you that much. You just wanted to get laid. And then number two, more importantly, why so many girls get uh, ghosted is they don't add value. Like a lot of girls think, well, I'm just going to come to a relationship, smash, be there with my presence and not add any value. And the thing is, is that when you're dealing with a guy that has options, what he's going to do is he's going to go with typically with the girl that's the most attractive, the most cooperative and the least of a headache. And the, the combination of that three that has the highest average is mm -hmm. going to win for seeing again. The hottest girl might get the sex, right? But the, the girl that like has the best average of cooperation, attractiveness and pleasantness is going to be the one that gets seen again and again. So I say, if a girl, if you, let's say you sleep with a guy on the first date, whatever, you sleep at his place. When he wakes up, house fucking clean, clothes folded, maybe some breakfast, whatever. Now, I know that you guys are like, oh, what the fuck? Are you speaking Chinese? <laughs> ling, ling, ba ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's like, a foreign thing. fucking concept. But like, real talk, if you do that, most girls will never do that. Especially like in Western countries. Like, yeah. that's like, girls are like, what? You're serving a man? Oh, no, no. Like, I ain't stupid. And then you're going to end up. Stupid. When you're single, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you keep a guy around. Serving men is how you keep guys around because most girls don't do it. You know, you're near Cuban. You know what I'm talking now, about. Now, I'll say this. But yeah. It has to be the right guy, though. Don't yeah. just do it for any bum dude on the street. It has to be the right guy that you actually want and that actually wants that type of woman as well. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, it's just it's a certain caliber of men. Like, you're going to have to understand that you're going to have to serve him and come into his world, not the other way around. You know, that's why I didn't want to get in conversation between Myra or whatever. But you're young and you're young and, you know... Can I say that I learned yeah. a lot about all of your, maybe not you, I don't really, you didn't say a lot, but oh. I learned you a lot about, a lot. Oh. No, 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 I, mean, I mean, in the recent, you know how long we were sitting with those masks on, yeah, right? man, <laughs> well, she's the whole time, I, let me so. clarify, I mean, the now. questions that were asked and answered, yeah. okay. I learned a lot about the way that you guys um, have relationships. Um, so, I will say this, Myra, yeah. I will say this. What you discuss, and I'm not even going to argue. I'm just going to give you my opinion, and ba based on what fight? you guys listening. Yeah, I ain't going to fight you. I ain't going to fight you. You will lose every time. But um, you're not a challenge. This guy. Is <laughs> <a challenge. laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, what you described is like, oh, a partnership, all that. This is all politically correct social constructs that don't work. The only way a relationship works is when a man is in a leadership position and the woman follows in a submissive role. It's the only way things work. Women are literally hardwired and biologically designed to look for. Weak men, and guess what? Be repulsed by them. May I ask my question now? <sighs> one question. Okay, because all of them got their questions, so I deserve yeah, one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so I asked you this after the last podcast, and yeah. I'm going to ask you guys as well. Sure. Based on the conversation we just had, when is the last time you guys can say that you were genuinely in a healthy, happy, wholesome relationship where you looked at the woman that you were with and you thought, I don't want to lose her? I so, want, like I want to protect her. So I, what's interesting, I'm going to answer your question, but what's interesting what Myron said is that, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, Myron, but you said that a woman has to like look up to a man, respect him to make the relationship like the best, right? It's the only way it'll work. Yeah. And was, and and correct me if I'm wrong, but when we asked you which guy did you desire the most, do you remember what you said? Of course. Yeah. I said it's the guy that I looked up to and that I desired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I think that I think that's just interesting how it kind of goes back to that. But for me, it's, it's, it's right now. Um, But to, but a little different is, did you say afraid to lose her? That was the last thing you said. Yes. I said, I said where, where you wanted to protect the relationship and you guys yeah. want to jeopardize it. Yeah. I think that's that's where I'm, I'm at now. But I think the uniqueness of being a man who has built your life. It's you know the value that you bring and you're not afraid of her leaving because she leaves, she loses mm -hmm. and she leaves. I win more, mm. you know, and so do you think that if if the person that you're currently seeing who clearly you're very affectionate yeah. towards, if she left, you're saying you wouldn't you, you said you would gain if she left. So what I mean by that is yeah. that for 
she's an amazing woman. I don't want to deny that. She's an amazing woman. I would definitely want to spend the rest of my life with her. So I don't want to ever act like I don't. But I think the reality of the matter is, is that she, for her to find another me will take her about 15 more lifetimes. Nope. You know, she definitely ain't fine. Yeah. And so no, and, and she's an amazing mm-hmm. woman, but there are a lot of women who want to be with me right now. Do you think and, that those women are like her? Yes, they are. And th- 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 not saying that they're on her level, but what I'm saying is that if if you if you gave me 10 years to find another her, I could maybe find five. If you gave her a thousand years to find another me, she would find none. Isn't that a little sad though? It's unfortunate, but that's what happens when you want the guy. High value men have the leverage, Myra. That's what I'm trying to say. Like that, women don't like when you re- deal with a certain caliber of man. Women don't have the leverage anymore. You have the leverage when you're dealing with average men, but when you're dealing with higher caliber men, you have zero leverage. So the way it goes is because it goes down to supply and demand. Okay, the percentage of men that are over making over a hundred thousand dollars a year, over six feet tall, and attractive. It depends. Huh? It depends. It depends what, Miss Cuba. You want to argue with me? It Ms. depends Contrary. because sometimes you can have that man like wrapped around your finger and he'll just do anything. And but the key word, notice how I said higher status, higher value men. So the that guy- higher status, higher value men could be wrapped around your finger. How does that? How out of curiosity, how does that make you feel to know that you have a man wrapped around his your finger? Awesome. But then, in- are you with him right now? <laughs> okay, exactly. Hi. So back to what I was saying. Let me continue no my comment. my point. No, exactly. The, the, and that's the thing. Women are unattracted by men that follow their lead and wrapped around their finger. It doesn't work when women are in a leadership or authority role whatsoever. You guys aren't, you guys are not built to lead. You guys just aren't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say it on my podcast. Or am I talking like, too women much? are not designed to lead. You guys are not built for it. You guys are not, you're, you're emotionally based. You guys can't make logical decisions like that in times of peril. And they've done it on studies. It, Cause here's the thing you take like top chess players, formula one uh, uh, racers, etc. Men it has nothing to do with physicality, decision making in a split instance. Men, and I'm not saying that to say men are better than women, uh, superior. No, we're just better at certain things, and you guys are better at certain things. But the thing I'm trying to say is that once you get a certain status of man, they have the leverage. They and because the thing is that there's far fewer attractive men that have money that have status than there are beautiful women. This is why women, since the beginning of time, would gladly share a very high status guy. This is why the top guys were having harems of women. You know what I'm saying? And they were all just in concubines and all that stuff because women understood that higher status men were hard to come by. Yeah. Let me just add one more thing. Every single day, there's a girl turning 18 years old. Ew. I'm sorry. Ew. I'm just keeping it real. That's but, so creepy. No, no, no. That's but you, so creepy. You're going to stand. Like, <laughs> I know you find it creepy, but all the guys don't. She's freshly 18. I have, She's I have a question for you. Um, What's the oldest guy you ever dated? Probably mid 30s. Okay. How old were you? I was. Well, uh, the, when I was 19, I dated somebody who was 27. And then Ew, the creepy. 30s was... Creepy. Oh, my God. It's oh. creepy. Oh, my God. Oh, it's he's not creepy. Twi- then, he's almost no, no, no. Age. I agree. I agree 100%. I think that once creepy. I was over 18, that's creepy. fine. Okay. 100% fine. Oh, well, but when, but the whole thing of like... <laughs> no, no. But that whole thing of like, you guys are waiting for a girl just to be legal. No, no, no. no that, we're not waiting. Opinion, we're just seeing... You're a it's like a cringe moment of no, like, no. you guys. No, 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 Mara, you're, you're missing the point. You're missing the every single day. <laughs> Mara, you're missing the point that, yeah. that the metrics that make a woman attractive are constantly replenishing itself. Yeah. Youth, beauty, fertility. Men, the things that make us attractive take time to acquire. Mm-hmm. What, women are born with value. Men must earn it. That's why what Hafiz is saying is that, yeah, his girl's cool, but he can have a couple of her whatever, uh, you know, in a couple of t- in a, um, a couple of times in the time span because He's higher status, so therefore women are naturally going to be attracted to him. Women look for the same traits in men. You know what I'm saying? And so so few men have a, a multitude of these traits in the same guy. So guys, and that's what I'm saying. There's a reason why you'll date Bad Bunny or whatever it is, knowing that you'll gladly share him because he has other girls and everything else like that because higher status men are rare. Beautiful women are not. And that's the uncomfortable reality. Now, if you want a guy all to yourself, you can. But you're going to have to settle on an average guy. If you want a higher status guy, you're going to have to understand that you're going to have to get on his program for the chance to be able to get in a relationship with him. And I think that's where so many modern women fail is they think that they're equal because they want a superior man, right? I want a guy that makes $100,000 a year, taller than me, physically superior to me, uh, social status, et cetera. But I want him to be an equal partner. I think that's not the way it works. But my priority in life, my number one priority Mm -hmm. is to be happy. And my second LOL. priority, my second priority, would, I would say, is to find a man who will make me happy. I think that. The, what do you mean by be happy? 
so, oh, surround shit. myself, put myself into a situation in my life where I am waking up in the morning and I'm happy and I'm glad with what I have. Like a job, like a career and stuff like that. I think you're you're aiming me to that, but no, no, I'm, no. I'm, just, I'm asking you. I'm no, 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 not is, not necessarily. Because mean? you, you, you means... separated family from happiness. Why, if you said it, my my goal is to be happy, then it's like, well, whether that's marriage and family or so children. I think it's very individual. I think there's a lot of studies that support that women are happy in domestic. No, but you separated. That's what I'm saying. You separated. You said my first goal is to be happy. Then yes. my second goal is relationships. So why would you? So then, what does happy mean if relationships are separate from happy? I think that uh, relationships. I think that that happiness comes in a relationship and relationships can also cause a lot of unhappiness. I think that I think that I just need to be very aware of uh, my own happiness in a relationship. If I find that I'm not happy, then maybe it's not the right relationship for me. And that could possibly be with a man, for example, somebody who who is the highest quality celebrity status man. If I'm not happy, what does it matter that I have a man who's that high status? You know? Mm. OK, so ladies and gentlemen, this was a great podcast. It was a good show. And uh, we got Coach Greg Adams in the chat. Yes, we got Coach Greg Adams Donovan in the house, Sharp guys. in the chat. And Donovan Sharp. Um, guys, go subscribe to the YouTube channels, Coach Greg Adams, and also subscribe to our boy, Donovan Sharp. Yep. Um, tickets so, for the CME are out, by the way, guys. So um, we're going to do closing thoughts yeah, here. Yeah, let's give the ladies the final word and our guests. Well, we thought about the show. What's, what's your opinion? Do you hate us? Do you love us? Do you want to kill us? Yep. You, you let us know. Yeah, if you so, want to kill us, Sophia, that's fine. We'll start with we you. We can even do a uh, kill, marry, fuck if you guys want. <laughs> nah. Yeah, but no. I okay, fair enough. had a good time. I thought we definitely got into a lot of really good conversations and I don't hate you guys. Okay, cool. Well, she's back. Yeah, she's back. Second time. Okay. Sarah? I'm good. That's why I'm back. The last <laughs> time I enjoy it. So I'm here again and I will be more here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Sarah. You go. Thank you, Sarah. She hates us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was good to oh, hear Lord. your perspectives. <laughs> um, and it was definitely a learning experience. What did you learn? Okay. Wow. That will be a nothing. Okay. Miss Cuba. Uh oh. I think it was fun. I really enjoyed it. And it was a learning experience for sure. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Don't date drug dealers. That's what I learned. Cool. Okay. Miss Israel. She's like fours. Obviously. Thank you so much for bringing me on again. I would do it again. And, um, I got to say, very challenging. Respect. 100% respect. Happy. Yeah, no, no, no. 100%. Mara, you are now 0-2 in the Fresh and Fit dungeon. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it means you, you lost twice in two, two First debates. First of all, I did not lose against you. You did what? Oh! Not at all. <laughs> okay. Um, right. I don't know. Uh, that's all. I just appreciate it. There's a lot of people here, so it's definitely hard to get all of the opinions that I have in my head out there. Yeah. But um, thank you guys for giving us a platform. It's very cool of you. Welcome. And roommates, give your opinion. Talk about where they can find you and from there. Yeah, I mean, you can find us uh, anywhere on social media. Roommates HTX on YouTube. You can type in the roommates and you will see us pop up. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the show. You know, I'm always good for good conversation, good dialogue. Happy to hear what, what the women have to say so I can continue to learn and also educate as well. Because, you know, at the, here at The Roommates, we do care about women. We want to see y'all succeed. We want to see y'all get married, have families and be happy. You know, so sometimes we're going to tell you things that people may not tell you because it's the truth. And we feel like we can help. In a lot of ways. So if we can, you know, learn how to be better in conversations and our tones to really deliver the message, then, you know, we'll take your suggestions. But um, that's our main end goal is to really help not only men level up and get better, but also we want to see women be happy as well. Boom. Well said. Yeah, no, I think um, no, Chris, I think Chris hit the nail on the head. I I think the goal for the roommates is to see obviously to help men, but also to see women succeed as well. I think sometimes in these conversations, a lot of guys just want to see women get attacked and and call names. That's and, what I'm here for. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Shit, the mic's on. <laughs> you know, and so, you know, this this obviously fun, but I, I generally want to see people happy. Um, and I generally want to see people successful. And I just I just wish there was more honesty in society. I wish that women could be honest about wanting marriage and family without feeling shamed and feeling less than of a woman. Mm -hmm. I want men to also be honest about their desires. So my goal is to see people happy and, and be able to be honest about what they do. And I thank you guys for the time. I appreciate you guys, Absolutely. man. Persistence. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I, I love what you guys are doing, man. Building yeah. the, building the, the studio, platform. Man. Studio Beautiful. super dope. So yeah. this was an amazing conversation. I just thank all you ladies for being a part of it as well. 
Yeah, man. Yo, they get the politically correct yeah, they're, they're so they That's awesome. Time. I don't need de- delivery, bro. But I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> I'm going to start lying to all you chicks because when you lie, they buy. <laughs> I'm going to start telling all these chicks you can push off marriage. I'm going to tell them it don't matter. Sleep with as many guys you want. Don't fuck, fuck the ring. Just Shout do out your to career. Jackson, Shout out way. to Derek Jackson, nigga. We all get a Lamborghini. That's the homie. That's the homie. We all got to start lying now, man. Get ready. It's going to be. Fresh and feminine soon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>